Welcome to the Bentley Reserve. Bounce to the ball. Up goes Fitzgerald. Punch forward. Smith trying to get a quick kick out of the centre. They converge. Coming out with Smith. Over the shoulders of call. Maslov gets the first free of the game. Smith tries to play on, being dragged back to over the mark. The St Mary's player down already. There is a St Mary's player down, Slim, and uh, Bear going back now over the mark. We'll have to kick long, he's been brought back. Going back now, called play on. Looking for a lead, nothing much offering. Big kick forward. Shane Minahan in front, drops the mark. Into the pack it goes, a pack develops, and the umpire has picked out a charity. And a fifth, a silly play by Wayne Polder then. Okay, very muddy conditions here, so we're in for a pretty scrambly match. St Mary's driving forward, good kick, pack six. Grady over the top, the ball's loose. Grant, Grant gets pushed in the back, no free kick. Good play there by Turner, he's in after it again. Ball ups the call, no, he picked out a free kick to Maslin in the back. To Damien Carr, who's at the bottom of the pack. I think that's going to be the order of the day today, John. Those going the ball will be played to free. Doubt, they slip undoubt. The elusive Luxford, onto the quick running Smith. No, ball's come back. I think they're the key, they're the Williams and the heel of this side, John. Peter Luxford and Gregory Smith. If we can get those two running, Maslin's game will be on the roll. Undoubtedly, Slim. Your expert comments are unbelievable. Due to te technical problems here at the start of the game, we did miss a bit of a sensation. St Mary's came out obviously with intention to rustle and bustle Maslin. Bit of pushing and shoving, nothing much in at the start. Now play settled down. Luxford. Looking for a lead out wide. Probably too wide. Now come Nick Mullen. The ball slipped past him towards the boundary. St Mary's push it over. No, a, a freeze being played against Jim Mullen down there. But in the back. Straight across goal. St Mary's go. An elusive play. I don't know how he got loose. Coming along the north flank. Murray's got the sit. Good mark over top. Could have been in the head. Play goes on. The ball's loose. St Mary's put quick forward. Green downfield. Watch it, it could be taking off them. No. Plays on again. St Mary's are loose. Going long. St Mary's could have the first goal on the board. And there it is. St Mary's take the first goal of the match. Masnod will definitely have to tighten up around that half back line then. They were very loose, the running players running straight down the ground. And I think Masnod have been sucked in to start with. And they should get back to playing the ball because they're a much better football side. Yes, John, I think from what we've seen so far, those first rustling tactics by St Mary might have come off. But anyway, we're back into the centre. Hopefully Maslin can bring about a quick reply. Very, very wet conditions here at the Bentley Reserve this afternoon. The rain's coming down pretty heavily. Luckily there's no wind though. Darren Hogan there, wobbling around with a message. Now coming back to Kevin King, the Maslin coach of course. It's a bit of hustling and bustling again in the centre. Someone's got hold of P. Luxford. Pretty Fitzgerald's intercepted. The other players leaning support, nothing much in it. They really are being sucked in, aren't they, Slim? And really, it's just a matter of getting the ball. They've beaten them twice during the year and in the second semi. They're a much better football, so they should forget about that and play the ball. Yes, there's one goal on the board already. Maz will be looking for a quick reply. Of course, in conditions like this, the side is to get an early lead. It's very hard to make it up later on in the game. St Mary's player is off. Good. Maybe a few more can follow. Team now Maslin 18 versus 17 men St Mary's. Hopefully Maslin could capitalise. It should show Maslin now what, what it is all about. Play the ball. Good comment, Jim. The bounce of the ball in the middle. The big man's up. Fitzgerald's been put in a position. Still gets it. Punches the forward. St Mary's in front. Tap onto Baldy. Drives long. Out comes Thompson. Punches away well. McDonald's there for the spoil. Off the ground. Overruns it. They're still in after it. Turner. Head high tackle against Grant Turner. <clears throat> Free kick to St Mary's in the outer half forward flank. Behind play again that was. Anyway, the St Mary's guy from the half forward flank. Looks for the pass. Leads on. That's a strong mark in these conditions. Very strong. Tomo letting him get away then. That was a very good mark. That was a good mark, Johnny goes back. Trying to drive this to the 10 yard square. Obviously too far out to score. Very congested down there. The lead's ignored. Concentrating hard. Comes. It's long, it's high, it's there. Beautiful goal by St Mary's player. St Mary's go to two goal lead. Doesn't look good, Johnson Cotter. No, they're going to have to man up. See the short, loose game and free kick down uh, behind play. Then cost them dearly. And it's the likes of, yes, I will name them. I'll go out and on him. 
grand turners are getting sucked in too easily. And um, Roger Murray's been a bit loose, and uh, Simon McDonald, and it's just, it's just got to regroup, really, because this hasn't happened to them all year. St Mary's are being first to the ball at this stage, and Mazon are falling into the mistake of jumping and giving the free kick merely because they're second to the ball. I'd like to see the Nodders get first to the ball. The bounce of the ball. The big men are in. Fitzpatrick misses it. Luxford onto the left. Handballs. Fitzgerald. Luxford again. Poulter, sorry, that time. Free kick to St. Mary's. St. Mary's experienced blokes have picked up on Masnod's inexperience very quickly. Driving forward. Murray from behind. Overrun. St. Mary's got the break. The boundary line is going to beat them. Throw in here. Half forward flank St. Mary's forward line. Gerald up. Good punch. Grady from behind. Touchy free kick there. Grady won't take any hustling and bustling. He'll dish it out. Polter the likes is in there too. St. Mary's free kick. Half forward flank. Doesn't look good, good Jimmy Sincotta. No, St. Mary's going forward again. That's a good torpedo in these conditions too. It's up in the square. Grant Turner dives on the ball. Should get a free kick. Not paid. And the umpire's now called for a bounce. It's in the goal square, about five metres out from St Mary's goal. Does not ill afford another goal here. No, dead set, Jimmy. Testing time for the Nodders. Green's up. Tap out Luxford. Luxford loves to run. There's no exception. He's off and away. Luxford, long kick to centre wing. Shane Minahan spoiled from in front. Goes Roger, caught in, in no man's land. It's old Baldy there, gets out of bounds. Tough play by Shane Minahan. Be a throw in here, half forward flank. St. Mary's are doing pretty well. Actually, free, free kick. Slip, slip. Sorry, Jimmy, didn't pick it. Murray, usually good disposal. Downfield, well done. Downfield to Mazenod. Sean Campbell will take the free. 15, the ball wasn't thrown back on the full. He's off immediately to Damien Carr. Damien Carr, good mark, should be paid wet weather mark. Mazenod now surging downfield. Damien Carr's back quickly. Shocking kick, picked up by St. Mary's. Time to settle. Kicks long. St. Mary's again are into attack. Grady. Good, strong mark. Good mark, Binger. Hopefully he can be a pillar there at centre-half back, Johnny. Long kick by Grady. Well bustled there by Smith. Luxford's after it. Luxford watching. Well done, Peter Luxford. The balls beating them over the line. Throw in half forward flank, Mazenod. Right, the umpire's about 60 metres around from the Mazenod goal now, who are yet to score. St Mary's two goals, 12 points. There's the throw in. Fitzy loses position and gives away a foolish free kick. Umpire, give him a go. It's wet out there. Throws it back to St Mary's now from the half back flank. It's a long, long kick. Roger Murray in position to spoil. Misses completely. Grant Turner. Oh, no, no. There's the kick forward into the forward pocket, Simon McDonald, the ever reliable, Mr. Cool, kicks it back. Sudsy, beautiful mark, and away he goes, and he loves to run. Oh, and he gives Timmy Smith an absolute peach. Over to Damien Carr, and the nods are running, they're playing their game, that's their game, they've got to run. Because their Samaris are much more physical and big and fat, being the operative word. Okay, St. Mary's away, they've rebounded it well. Green sticks out the one hand, a bit lucky pushing it back. Adrian Green, half-back flank, out of side. Green looking for someone, no movement, decides to go long. Campbell's in the box seat, but lets it go for the St. Mary's men to take the mark. Must contest nods, must contest. St. Mary's back out to the outer wing, going indirect football. Punched by Green, and collects the St. Mary's person around in the neck on the way through, obvious free. St. Mary's looking to go forward. No movement, must go long. Masnod, back of the pack. Big men fly, punch the promise, forward. Jared Healy, alias Greg Smith, picks up. Drives long, good kick to Sean Campbell. Contests well, the ball's hit the deck. Menahan, bustling, couldn't get through. Cops one high, takes a free. He's tough. I like his style, he goes straight at it, Jimmy. Good long kick. Men, numbers are needed at the back of the pack. Polter, the elusive Polter, picks it up onto the left, straight through. Right through the machine's away. That's how easy it is, Slim, as long as not have taken notice of that and the long kick in these conditions, and they've got a very talented forward line, and they'll, they'll do that more regularly if they play the ball and forget the man. Looks to me, Jim, that the nods have settled down now. They were, they were a bit bustled and perturbed in those first few minutes when St Mary's tried a little bit of rough stuff, but there wasn't much in it. But now they've settled down, they've played the ball. 
so I said overawed. Yeah, over, good word, John. Good word, overawed. Bit of youth out there, bit of vigour. Unbridled enthusiasm, we might say, John. Coming out. Undoubtedly, Slip. Okay, the Niners got their first goal on the board, thanks to Wayne Poulter, who will play a very big part in this match today. We're back in the middle. The bounce of the ball. Fitzgerald's in. Punched away by St. Mary's. Damien Carr's got position, taps it out in front of well. Looking for the hands to turn up. He likes to go long. Campbell, Minahan, good mark. Strong mark. Shane Minahan. Onto that left foot, the long top. There it is. Back of the pack, Poulter again. Got it. Looks to quite to be a formidable combination there. Free kick there slim before that to uh, Stewie McMullen being held well, well before the ball was down anywhere near them. Well picked up, Jim. Anyway, as I was saying, the combination there looks like Minahan Polter. Doing well so far, combining well at forward. Plays on his two best players. McMullen, I like the way this kid moves. Lines him up. 20 out on the angle. Straight through the dum dum diddle. May as not go to two goals. Straight 12 points. On the Sincotta Fruit Shop scoreboard, St. Mary's two goals straight, 12 points. Okay, scores are level. I can sense Maslot have just steadied the boat now, John. They're just moving up through the gears. They've gone from first to second. Maybe they might even move into third. Our fitness, Maslot's fitness, sorry, not ours, will definitely tell. We're playing a lot of old, experienced, fat gutted men. Thanks for those uh, constructive criticism, Jim. Ball goes up. Smith, Fitzgerald, now gets a tap out. St. Mary's are proving too good out of the centre. They're going too wide though. Out to Thompson. This man gets away from him. Takes the mark. Whiter outer half forward flank. Onto the left foot. Drives long. Sorry, there's Thompson. Fumbles. St. Mary's. One behind. Sorry, that was McDonald out there. And Thompson spilled the mark there at full back. But lucky to get away with it. St. Mary's miss. St. Mary's go to two goals, one thirteen. That's not still on two goals straight, twelve. Thompson looking. Short pass to Paletti, who waited for it. Roger Murray picks up well, taps out. He's going to play it safe, goes to the boundary. Throwing forward pocket St. Mary's end. Martin Paletti made the mistake there of Jim of waiting for that ball. You must always attack the ball, especially in finals. The throw in. Fitzgerald taps out. Smith looking for the kick. Luxford's there as always. Murray at the bottom of the pack, ball up. Ball up here, half forward flank St. Mary's. Mazon will be looking to clear here. A few players around the ball, so first the ball gets the free. Fitzgerald misses the tap. Boyle, bumped aside. Could be in the back. No, play goes on. Scrambly play. Mazon are in there. Out of bounds. Forward pocket St. Mary's. Kicking hand. Ball to be thrown in. There's 36 blokes out there, Slip having a red hot go, and it's great for football. Throw in. Gerald, too far back. Thompson straight through. No talk, Mazenod. St. Mary's on the right foot. Well tackled. Marty Poletti pushes it out to St. Mary's. Ball up, congested. Mazenod definitely had the numbers around the ball that time. So it was just a lack of talk. That's right, John. They're slowly doing it together, but they're just a bit of lack of talk there. Could have cleared it. Fitzgerald up. Loses a tap. Turner kicks it with his knee. Could try the foot next time. Turner again follows up well. Well done, Grant Turner. First five minutes, he was second to the ball and gave away a couple of throughs. But now I think he's found himself. He finds if you get first to the ball, you acquire the free. Ball goes long. Fitzpatrick, well picked up. Screws it. The forward line's open. Chance for goal for Maznod. Bouncing ball. McMullen runs out. Overruns it. Picked up by St. Mary's. Kicks it wide out to half foot flank. Loose play here, Jim. Oh, and now this number four is cutting us to ribbons at the moment. Slim, cutting us to ribbons. Dubious mark there. I think the whistle went before in anticipation, but anyway, the mark will be paid. Simon McDonald has been a bit loose in these opening stages. You just want to pick up who's on number four, Jim, because he would have picked up five to six possessions already. And Captain Martin Fitzpatrick. Short pass. Good pass, good lead, good mark. Too far out to score, though. Good football, St. Mary's. That's what I want to pick up here. Old man seemed to be covered. He's lining him up. 50 out in the wet. He's gone the top, he's got onto it by Gollies. Goal! Excellent goal there by the St. Mary's man. That's definitely a lifter goal, Slim, and the Nods are really going to have to tighten up and work hard now. 
The two players we'd want to keep our eye on here, the Maslon players, would be number four in the centre for St Mary's. Jim, could you tell me who's on him if you keep an eye out? And number 12 there at full forward, who's Stephen Thompson's on. He's obviously going to have his hands full this afternoon. Anyway, St Mary's going to 3-1-19. That's not stagnant on two goals straight 12. Do you detect any wind here, Jim? Does the wind be favouring in the end? No, I think it's just wet. No, no wind advantage to either side. Jim bounces the ball in the middle. The big men set themselves. Number four standing loose in the centre there. Might be an idea for Mazda to pick him up. Ball's up. Fitzgerald can't time his run. St Mary's again. Luxford taps in front of Clever. The sidestep tries to do too much. Dropping the ball. Peter Luxford. St Mary's surge again. Surge forward. They go long. Green on the chest. Takes it out in front. Spills a mark. Costly error. Ball comes out to Turner. Fighting well. Ball up. A few little wet wearer errors Maslin are making here this afternoon. Should never try and take the ball out in front like Green just did then. It's a bit more safe from the chest. Anyway, Campbell fumbles. Fitzpatrick cops one high and takes a free. Martin Fitzpatrick. No, Sean Campbell. Sean Campbell to left foot. Go direct, son. He does so. Long. No, plays at the back of the pack. John Boyle drops the mark. May get the freeze. In after it. Well done, John. Play comes out. Greg Smith tackled well, dropping the ball. They're tackling well, St Mary's, Jim. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly, at the moment, they are applying the pressure and Masnod are finding it very difficult to get their run-on game going. St Mary's go wide. Out of half-foot flank. Green's there, hot on St Mary's tail. Contended to follow the ball out of bounds, but no, he gets a free kick in the back. Adrian Green. Invaluable experience back there at centre-half back. Looks long. Long drop punt in these conditions. Good kick. Players need the back of the pack. The ball goes up. Campbell trying to find his feet. Luxford overruns the ball. Campbell still after it. Number four by himself again. Short to Turner. Good mark, Grant Turner. He's playing very well on the halfback flank. John after that shaky start. Right, right up and settled down. I wish a few of his teammates could take a, a, a leaf out of his book slip. Luxford uses the body well. Misses the mark. Number four for St Mary's again. Shoots a handball out. Cops one the head. Oh, could be on here, number 12 from behind. Maz not lucky to keep the ball there anyway, nonetheless, Murray just likes to drive long. Ball goes over the back of the pack. The running polter sees the goals in sight, pops it, bit wide, one behind. Wasn't quite sure what he's trying to do then, Jim. He had the sights, he's on the left foot, the goals were there, the big sticks, and he went wide. Why? I think it's slithered off his boot in these slippery conditions. So he's normally a beautiful kick, is our Wayne Poulter. Maybe so. St Mary's kick out. Go wide to the right foot pocket. Luxford up. Ball eludes both players. Everyone's in. It comes loose St Mary's. But stupid free kick against Peter Fitzgerald. St Mary's got the ball. Maz not half forward flank. No leads. Runs around Martin Pilletti. Shoots a handball out. Getting nowhere. Getting himself into trouble. It was John Boyle, slim, not Martin Pelletti. I can't tell the difference between those two. They're so much alike. Anyway, the ball straight up in the air. Everyone's up. St Mary's player. Dispossessed. Scrambly play. Umpire must ball it up. A bounce. Bounce to the ball, centre wing. It's congested. He likes to throw. Grady. Up. This is a tap out. Tapped out to Smith. Onto the left. Screws it round. Minahan misjudges it. St Mary's mark. St Mary's centre half back. 15 metres. Shane Minahan. Ill discipline play. Especially in these conditions, those 15 metre penalties can be very beneficial, John. Undoubtedly, they can set up goals, as has already happened in these early stages of this grand final. John, I want you to promise me you won't say undoubtedly one more time the whole afternoon. Ball up. Thompson punches. Well done. Ball goes over bound, out of bounds. Stephen Thompson right on his opponent's number 12 toes there. Well done, Steve. Throw in, forward pocket, St Mary's attacking. Again, 15 players are in the ball. Ball's thrown in, Grady over the back. No one gets it, Campbell onto the right, the ball's loose. Martin Fitzpatrick, number four loose again. Fitzpatrick, good side bump, ball will be thrown in, half foot flank. St Mary's scoring in. You sure is that Martin Fitzpatrick is supposed to be picking up number four there, John? I'm pretty sure about that, Slim. They're playing wide of each other, and number four is definitely having more influence at the moment, but Fitzpatrick being the good player he is will bounce back. Anyway, St Mary's go ahead. McDonald at the back, bloody overruns. Comes out of St Mary's. 
Bustles loose on the left, drives long. Here comes Danger, number 12. Free kick. Well, I think this number 12 looks a bit like Cowboy Neil, doesn't he, Jim? Will provide a very big headache for Maslin up forward. They must do something to combat him. I'd, have to, I'd be thinking seriously of moving Sean Top onto the forward line. Moving who? Stephen Thompson onto the forward line. Okay. Nice, straight through the middle. He's touch of class about him, number 12. St. Mary's pushed onto a handy lead of 4-1-25. Maz Knight stagnant on 2-1-13. On the Jimmy Sincotta Fruiterer scoreboard. Just a small plug for our sponsors. If you want to get out to 760 Riversdale Road, Jimmy and Nick Sincotta, nice father and son combination out there. It's the fresh fruit you're looking for. Come on down to Jim's Fruit Shop. Anyway, back to the game. Maz on losing the centre. Decides to throw. Fitzgerald too far back. Makes ground. Punches forward. Good tap out. Murray being held. Goes the ball. Fitzpatrick runs past. Congested. Ball scrambly. Throw up. Good decision, umpire. There's the ball up now. Fitzgerald up again. Loses that one, but well rode by Fitzpatrick. A long kick forward. Holder at the back again, but he's been effective from there before. Punch out by St Mary's to number four. They're just not manning up. They're not playing the ball either, Maz not at the moment. And there's another, there's a perfect example of it again. Now on the half-back flank towards the wing. It's a long left foot kick. That is a good kick in these conditions. Well spoiled by Paletti, but they, they're there at the ball all the time. And Turner puts it out of bounds. We're about 45 metres around from the St Mary's goal here front of the stand, right under the commentary box. There's the throw in. And they've got numbers at the ball. There's Suds, clears the ball beautifully. Long kick, looking for Boyle. But Timmy Smith, who we haven't sighted yet, goes after the ball. He's out of position. There's three against one, and he's done all very well there, Timmy Smith. He's held it in onto the forward line. That's a very good place, Slim. Yes, as you said, John, we haven't seen much of Timmy Smith up to this stage, and he must be a vital contributor if Mazdon are going to pull off his flag. Back to you, Jim. Now throws the ball up there and goes up in the air. Shane Minahan up, gets it down and then dives back in on the ball and throws his weight around a bit too and the umpire picked it up unfortunately. Free kick to St Mary's. Goes back now, plays on. Smith tries to smother but no, to no avail. McDonald in front should have got a free kick. Oh, umpire. That's silly but still they've got to play the game and that's what Masnot should do. There's the kick forward now. Oh, uncontested, they're behind again. Tomo clears the ball. But then again, they had the corridor there. There were three blokes there waiting. No one from Masnod there. St Mary's looking good in these early stages. It's the kick, but it's been smothered, and it's out of bounds. One thing I could say about St Mary's is they've gone too wide, which I think has been lucky for Masnod because they've had a lot of the play. Very lucky indeed, Jim. They would have had 80% of the play. Because they're going wide, they're only 12 points ahead, and they should be a good 30 or so at this stage. Thank you, Slim. Free kick to... Another free kick to St Mary's. See, Maznot have been unnerved by these early tactics, undoubtedly. Great mark by Bingo, and he plays it. He'll go long now because he's a beautiful kick, and it's a raker. <coughs> well roved by Fitzy. Fitzy, a long kick, Shane Minahan in position. No, he's well spoiled. And he's now out of bounds. They move that a lot quicker, Slim, through going direct. That's right. Jim Maznot getting the brace. We're going straight down the corridor. Whereas St Mary's are playing the wings. Anyway, throw in half foot flank. That's not scoring in. They desperately need a goal here, Jim. Certainly do, Slim. Ball goes up. McMullen contests. Ball's come loose. Fitzpatrick over the head. No, umpire didn't see it. Throw in. Nevertheless, they got 15, 10 to 15 metres four towards their goals. They definitely need the next one, Slim. Time will tell, Jim. Luxford waits for it. Doesn't go up. McMullen, good play. This will test the kid. Tried to do too much. Must go first. Option Stuart McMullen. A bit harsh there, Slim. Harshly dealt with there. The kid was having a go at the ball. The only one really with his eyes on the ball. And he got penalised. It was very hard to read these umpires now, those. Oh, good fly by St Mary's play at the back. Doesn't get it. The conditions aren't there for high flying. Simon Grady off the ground. Doing well. Drives it forward. Half forward flank. Maslund scoring in. Throw in. Rain has not stopped since this game started and it doesn't look like stopping for a while. The ground is getting heavier, so that, that two-goal lead they hold could be fine. 
free kick against Simon Grady there for shepherding out. I don't like all these frees Mazon are giving away. Very unlike them, very ill discipline and 15 metres to boot. Wayne Poulter give the ball back, it could be 30, just in time. St Mary's, looking settled. Mazon yet to move out of first gear. St Mary's, wobbly punt, out towards centre wing, they go wide again. Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald unsighted there. Gave his opponent a little clip over the ear, although I think he's trying the academy, so I don't think it connected. Anyway, another free kick to St. Mary's. Drive along. Punch from behind, Mazon. Marty Paletti punch as well. For it could be free kick to Martin Paletti. Not paid. Pretty inconsistent, these umpires, John. Mazon starting to get first to the ball, but not reaping the benefits they should be. Unlike St. Mary's, who are constantly getting the free kicks when they're in first. Ball goes up. Big man fly. Fitzgerald. No one gets a tap. Comes loose. Smith. Dispossessed. Ball shot loose again. St. Mary's. In first. Taps out. Looking dangerous, open goal, 30 out. Pushed by Sean Campbell at the last minute. Excellent chasing by Sean Campbell. The result, one behind. St Mary's, 4-2-26, Mazna 2-1-13. Over to you, Jim. The experienced campaigner, Jacks now, waiting to kick out. He has the loose man there, and he has looked for him and found him. Now the man, that should be 15 metres, undoubtedly, and he is. Well, umpire, and umpire, that's a good decision. Tomo now, Jack's shepherding very well, that's good. A long kick forward, no one there, no one going for the ball for Masnod. Number six there for St Mary's, gets the ball on the wing. Puts it in towards half forward, where that man again, uncontested, number four, there by himself. You're going to have to watch him, Jim, he's the architect with St Mary's forward thrusts. Un undoubtedly, Slim. It's out the back again, no one going at the man. Oh no, and there's a loose man again in the centre. This guy's giving us a bit of trouble as well. The unball players from Maslow just aren't picking up, Jim. That's going to have to change. You're right again, Slim. He's having a shot now. This will be a good kick now. The ball would be getting heavier and more slippery. Anyway, there's, there's the kick now. It's on its way. I think it'll be touched through. That's a very good mark in the goal square. Oh, no. Maslow's not going to have to really lift. Mazon just making simple mistakes there, Jim. I had no one at the back of the pack. All three players were in front. Unforgivable defence there by Maznod. Looks like another goal came to St Mary's. Maznod are in trouble. Pops it straight through. St Mary's go on to 5-2-32. Maznod remain still stagnant at 2-1-13. As I was saying before, Jim, Maznod are going to have to pick up these on-ball players. It is cutting us to shreds. Although our main possession getters, as the likes of Fitzpatrick, Smith and Luxford, might be doing all right for us, it is to no effect if their opponents are picking up as many kicks as they are. I'd be making a few moves already, Slim. I'd have Jack down to full back straight away, and I'd be moving Tomo, who has played on the forward line effectively during the year, upfield. Good call, Jim. Anyway, it's the coach's job, Kevin King. Adrian Green by himself. Ball goes up. Fitzgerald, good tap out. Minahan overruns. Good tackle though. Unlucky not to get the free kick. Same situation, Stuart McMullen was penalised down a few minutes ago, but anyway, he's the umpire, the man in white is always right. Ball thrown up. Luxford straight through, well contested. Fitzpatrick throwing his weight around. Boyle, good pick up, well picked up. Get rid of it, son. Good handball, car. Shoots out, another handball. Kick, not as kick. Fitzpatrick drives long and wide though. Wide being the operative word, because we want to go direct, not as. Stuart McMullen, McMullen second for the race of the ball. Ball wasn't pushed out of bounds. Minahan shoots out the handball to Carr. Quickly kicks Smith over his head. Poulter loves the goal as Wayne Poulter. Bad handball to Luxford. Luxford again runs. An effective handball, well pressured St Mary's. Could be holding the ball. I just don't know what's going on here, umpires. You've paid dropping the ball against Maslin on three or four occasions. St. Mary's man off injured. Change. John comes 43 for St. Mary's. Ball thrown up. Fitzgerald misses the run of the ball. Scrambly play. Boyle's in there. Good play, John Boyle. He's certainly having a go, Slim. He is. You just can't get into the play at this stage. I've got a lot of confidence in this young kid. Well, he's a battler, Slim. And battlers normally come through on days like today. Soon he come up through the ranks, John, from St. London's Junior B to, to, to Senior A. 
Oh, head high tackle to Luxford, unnoticed. Smith, quick kick, smothered. Indirect football, St. Mary's game possession. Well, tackle John Boyle again, let go of him, holding the man. A bit over enthused there, I think, Jim. He was dispossessed, then remained to hold on to him. It happens many times a game, it's not always picked up, so I'm a bit unlucky, I'd say. Turner at the back, punches well, pulls Grady down on top of him. Don't quite know what he's trying to do there. Murray, contesting well, taps out. Could be too high. Oh, yes, we finally got, I mean, Masnod finally got a free kick. Free. Give it away now, it's against us. Been sucked in bad, Slim, sucked in bad. Anyway, I think this might go against St. Mary's because this rough tactics might just spur Maslin a little bit more. The likes of Poulter, Minahan that love the rough stuff. St. Mary's got the kick. Wobbly punt to centre half forward. Carr, Green, backs into the pack. Turner in there. Battling well, ball up. Good decision, umpire. Ball up centre half forward, St. Mary's. If St. Mary's were to score a goal here, Jim, it could be very could be very hard for Maslin to uh, pick back this lead. You're right again, Slip. Thanks, Jim. Oh, fresh air kick there by St. Mary's. Damien Carr, bottom of the pack. Well battled out. Ball to be thrown up. Damien Carr remonstrating with the umpire, saying it could have been a kicking in danger. Ball to be thrown up. Sent half forward to St. Mary's. Fitzgerald, up, beaten again. Ball comes out to the side. Sean Campbell in there well. Could have copped a head high tackle. Everyone going in. Turner goes in hard. Free kick to Mazenod. Could be 15, it is 15. Could be 30. Do we have 30? No, we'll stick with 15 metres. Green runs long. Kicks. Out comes Minahan. Good strong mark. I like the way this kid moves, Jim. There's no kid slip. Minahan looking for Mullen. The siren eludes him. Well, we go to the Jimmy King Cotter fruiter scoreboard over there on half forward flank. Mazenod 2-1-13. St. Mary's 6-2-38. A handy 25-point lead. It's going to be extremely hard to peg back in these conditions, Jim. What do you think? Well, Slim, St. Mary's jumped Masnod at the start, and although Masnod made a comeback halfway through the quarter, St. Mary's steady it again, and Masnod haven't recovered. It's quite obvious from that, their first few minutes of roughhouse stuff. The past finals appearances here have shown that this end Masnod are kicking to this quarter has been the scoring end. So hopefully they can use this advantage, whether it be psychological or physical, to maybe pick back this lead. Slim, you're dribbling. You really are dribbling there, Slim. It's not which end you're kicking to on a day like today, it's just endeavour and common sense. And Masnod had very little of either in the first quarter. Thanks, Jim. What do you think the uh, Masnod coach, Kevin King, will be saying down to the boys, Jim? Do you want to go down to the Wormy on field to get a report? You there, Wormy? Wormy, you're there. So I've got a few technical errors up here. We can't go down to Andrew Wilkes, who's down there right in amongst it. No doubt he'll be under the armpits down there. Stepping on Kevin King's toes. Anyway, I'd just be saying, Jim, Kevin be saying, just go the ball, forget the rough stuff, forget the stupid free kicks, just go the ball, get in first, and you will receive the free kicks, which will benefit in goals from Mazenod. What do you reckon, Jim? Undoubtedly, Slim, undoubtedly. You've hit a nail right on the head. I see the president out there from Maslon. Is that, uh, is that uh, panic already, or do you think he's just out there supporting the boys? Oh, I don't know, Jim. Of course, any president of any club would be nervous when their side's 25 points down, first quarter in this weather. But I think I think the president of Maslon, Mr Gerard Noon, will have faith in the boys. He knows they're putting the hard work, uh, work all year. Sure, they've been jumped initially. I'm sure he'll have enough faith in their talent to come back from this predicament. Anyway, time will tell. The rain's just easing a little bit. Rain's easing a little bit. But anyway, the ground's starting to become heavy, which doesn't augur well for the first game. Different sounds for the start of the second quarter. There's not kicking up to the Arthur Street end. Ball up. Fitzgerald bent again in the ruck. Ball pressured Luxford. Ball comes out. Well chased Fitzgerald. Scrambly play, Mazon game possession, Mark Pelletti, a quiet Mark Pelletti, hopefully he can come into it, goes long. Fitzpatrick in front, bustled out of the way by his fellow teammate Shane Minahan. They're after it again, they're chasing well at this stage, Mazonod, looking better. Boyle, bottom of the pack, well done Johnny Boyle, in there again. Ball up, slightly towards Mazonod's attack again. Between centre and centre half forward. 
Fitzgerald. Bustled out. No one can test. Ball comes loose. Lux was in there. Could be holding around at St. Mary's. Play goes on. Scrambly play. Ball up again. Same spot. Up she goes. Fitzgerald. Non event. Ball comes loose. Boyle tackle but not possession. Well done, Johnny Boyle. 15 metres. Free kick downfield. Just chewing Mullen. Well picked up, umpire. St. Mary's have been tried these uh, tactics. They've tried holding, scragging the balls upfield for the forward players. I think the umpires might have been told a quarter time they're awake to it. Anyway, Stuart Mullen, 15 metres out directly in front. Wouldn't want to miss this one. Shane Minahan is having a word there, showing his uh, disapproval of St. Mary's player. McMullen, steadies. Four steps. Misses. Bad miss, Stuart McMullen. Did never look confident. That's not going to 2 2 13, trying St. Mary's. 2 2 14, trying St. Mary's. 5 2 32, and a Jimmy King Cotter scoreboard. Full back now, looking for leads. No, go straight up to center. Very good kick. And there's he. There he is again. Someone's got a man this bloke up. Number four. He is cutting us to ribbons. Kicks wide. That's a lovely kick to position, too. Oh, he spills what he should have taken. That suits Sudsy. Beautiful. Who gives Fitzy another peach? No, no. Oh, he's playing. Great play, Suds. Oh, no, playing dry with the football, the ball skids out. Kicked forward onto the wing now by St Mary's. And a free kick to Peter Fitzgerald as someone goes down in agony. Oh, it could be on again now. Man's not got to forget about it and play the ball as the St Mary's supporters start the mouth off. They're a nice looking bunch of St Mary's women down there, aren't they, Jim? Haven't noticed them. There's the kick forward, Shane Minahan in front again. Oh, it comes out to Polder who fumbles. It's in the forward pocket now for Masnod. And it's a ball up. So Mary's must watch Polder in the forward line. He's killing them. But uh, we haven't got much else down there at the moment. There's the umpire bouncing. There's a few players around the ball too. It'll be pretty congested. There it is up in the air. John Boyle goes at it. Oh, Timmy Smith tackled when he shouldn't have. He should have kept his eyes on the ball then. Anyway, now St Mary's get the clear. There's the kick to the centre of the ground. Oh, a free kick against Peter Fitzgerald there to St Mary's, who will take it in the centre and kick long. There's not giving away a few stupid free kicks here, Jim. They have to stop that before we get back into this game. There's the kick now from St Mary's. Try to ignore that last comment. There's the kick long to centre half forward. Behind again, it's out the back. Oh, they don't need another goal. Oh, Deegan's on the ground there, diving in. Oh, he threw it out too, did Deegan's. The umpire's called for a bounce. Umpire now, about 30 metres out directly in front of the St Mary's goal. That's not all have to defend doggedly. There's the ball up. Oh, they're clearing it a bit. It's on the half back. The number 10 for St Mary's has it now. It's being pushed wider and another silly free kick. And that's about the second or third grand turn is given away. He's just got to calm down a bit and relax. St Mary's now, about 50 out for goal. It'll be a monster kick from this. Oh, he's not. He's had the show. Oh, it is. It's a big kick. I tell you what, he's kicked at 80 metres. It's straight through the middle. Very noticeable here, Jim, that St Mary's shooting a goal a lot more better skilled than Masnod. That was a good 45 metres out, a 45 degree angle with a heavy ball. Excellent goal there, St Mary's. Notice the big fella Steve Bateman walking up on the interchange bench there, doing a few run-throughs. Oh, he's got his knee heavily strapped too, but I think he's coming to Grant Turner being taken off the ground too, and that's good coaching. He has made a few silly mistakes. Here comes Stephen Bateman. Bateman, maybe he'll be able to lift the boys. Going down to his old customary role, down to full back, half-back flank, which used to dominate so well in the lower grades of Mazda. A toss of the ball, Fitzgerald. Gets a tap out, and again, comes out to St Mary's. Scrambling play, handball shoot out. Fitzpatrick, knocked off the ball. Holding the man against Maslin again. When will they stop these stupid free kicks, Jim? They're, they're costly. That number four again, too. I think his experience is just cutting his part. The ball comes loose. St Mary's got the numbers to the ball again. Maslin second. No free. The umpire detected the acting. Get up now, St Mary's play, you haven't got the free. Ball comes to Deegan being extremely quiet. Picks up well, wet weather. Handballs to no one. Looking for the man to be quiet on the boundary. He yelled back, hey Deegs, I'm not playing, let it go over bounds. 
throwing half foot flank. St. Mary scoring in. It's Joe behind. The ball's loose, St. Mary's. With the run of the ball. In comes Fitzpatrick, takes it over, throw in. Ford pocket, St. Mary's scoring in. It'll be very hard to, to take back this lead, Jim. At this stage, 24 points. Step out by St. Mary's. There's number four again, right pocket, shoots. One behind. Best man of field at this stage, Jim. Four to St. Mary's. Minotta's going to have to do something about that. Yeah, as I've said before, they're really going to have to get someone on him. I think it's Peter Luxford on him, actually, because uh, you can see that now. And Sunday might have to tighten up a bit. Although he's a good man for us, he's going to have to tighten. Long kick out by Steve Bain. Now to the halfback flank. Has it been touched? Yes, it has. Good play, Wayne Colton. It's out of bounds now, about 50 metres around from the goal. That was a good kick out by Steve Bain in these conditions at his age. Up by now goes throws and a big throw. Finger giving away a free kick from pushing in the back. Yes, that was quite obvious that he's just going to have to watch himself too because he's given away a few silly runs. Number 48 now. Puts a bit of, oh, no, he's there again. This is pretty good. Position well shoots out the handball. Could have been a throw. Dean the throw has a free kick. Half foot flank. Stephen Bateman grabs it. Intercepted by St. Mary's. He's told to go back and take his kick. Maiden. Lovely kick on the second wing. As I'm having with the numbers, good mark, St. Mary's. Egg head 25. Straight from the velodrome is number 25. Kicks long, straight back to Bateman's got to sit. Taps it out well. Green overruns the ball. They're in there in force. Taps it out to no one. St. Mary's throwing their weight around. Good kick out wide. Forward pocket, the ball's loose. St. Mary's straight out of bounds number four. Ball pressure there by Damien Carr. Free kick Maslock, that pocket. To be taken by Paul Deegan. It's rain, not getting any lighter, Jim. Oh, there's a young horse. It'll be very heavy conditions for the main event here this afternoon for the Hollow Park and Maslock. Just waiting for the ball to throw him back in. Paul Deegan's got the kick half back play. Could be holding the ball. The umpire's chosen the ladder. It's tough there, a bit tough there for uh, Greg Smith anyway. St. Mary's have got it. In the centre of the ground. Drive long down centre forward. The back's Martin Paletti. As two was Peter Fitzgerald. Ball comes loose. Ramley play again. Handball shot out. Stephen Bain waits at the back. Comes long. Greg Smith loses his foot and gets up again. Could be a trip. Could be holding the ball. Gets it over the neck. Punch 
Tossed away well by the St. Mary's player, out of bounds. Center wing. Bazzo going to be looking for a quick break here. The style of play doesn't suit them. Scrambling. Rough and rugged play. They're on the fast moving runners. Ball thrown in. Fitzgerald from behind. Campbell's in there. Pushed aside. Could be in the back. Could be hold the man. Hold the man against St. Peter Fitzgerald. You're going to have to stop these free kicks, John. And a 15 to boot. I don't know what's gotten into the boys, but this is very unlike them. Very unlike their play that they've shown throughout the year. Something's going to have to be done. St. Mary's at one. Green from behind. Picked up by Pelletti. Tapped out in front. Dives in again. Ball comes loose. St. Mary's got the run. The dangerous number 12. Ball well done, Deegan. Diving in there. Run to him again. Ball pressured knots. Ball shoots out. Dangerous. St. Mary's. 15 out. Just pops it. One behind. Very lucky there. It's too long now. One slips, could be holding the ball. Very lucky to get away from throwing. Like to see a lot more Timmy Smith from that gym. But a very good play from us. Yes, he has. And at least when she's done, so he can still shoot. Good enough to restore the same position. Ball comes to the same way. He's forcing the ball again. As I'm trying. Back play goes on. Over around the neck. And a 15 to boot. It's just crazy football by the way. Dum Dum Diddle. St. Mary's move on. St. Mary's move on to 7 4 46. Holding 32 point lead up has it 2 2 14. It'll be very, very hard for Mazel to pick this up from here. They rattle. They second to the ball. Continually giving away silly free kicks. Anyway, what can the coach do, Jim? Stephen Bacon's foot pocket, foot pocket, massive scoring. I need a goal here, desperately, Jim. Is that word again? Yeah, Jim, I want you to change it. Never. There's the throwing game of foot pocket. Let's see if I can bring that on to goal. Slim, you've bought them that. Shot at goal. Oh, one point. Bad luck, Timmy. They moved a lot better that time, Slim. He's going to look good when they move the ball quickly. You get a free or a mark, they run off and move it quickly, run around. 
the stop start tactics. Actually, the umpire's picked up a free against Polk here. Another stupid free. So, Mary's been for 20 metres. They go wide, they're going to lose some now. They've come for a free. Gerald stops. So, Mary's game possession. Knocked off the ball. Good play. Shane Minahan. They're in after it again. Minahan's in there. St. Mary spinning out of the fence. And into trouble again. Smith slides it, shoots it up, Baker's on the left forward. Big Mullen at the back's got the sit. He dropped the... Uh, holding the man, umpire. Oh, yes. That's the evener upper, I think, Jim. It was definitely holding the man to Stuart Mullen there. But Roger Murray's got the three, five minutes out. I think Big Shane and Minahan all the accolades there for the way he held the ball and he tackled it in everything right and shot it out. It was beautiful stuff. Pops it straight through the middle. As of now, move on to 3 3 21. Trailing St. Mary's 7 4 46. The Nick and Jimmy King Cotter through to the scoreboard. I just take this break to say, pop down to 7 6 Riversdale Road. Jimmy and Nick will be glad to have you out with freshest fruit in Melbourne. Anyway, can this be started with the machine? Jim, the best one go on for the field. Let's hope so. They did show signs there. Players that hadn't been signed, the Timmy Smiths, you know, the Bears being caught under pressure heaps of time. Shane Minahan hasn't that much influence. They all played a part there. I just hope that we've seen confident as Roger Murray kicked the goal. Uh, he's been very quiet too. But, uh, he's down there in the back line at the moment talking to all the players. And I hope he can move to the rider. Anyway, the umpire walks in the men's number four, still unattended. Is the ball up now. The new ball too could help the Nodders a bit. No, it was a silly knockout by Fitz and they clear it beautifully. That's a long kick. But Deegan, great mark in the last line of defence. That's a good mark and it should be 15 metres too. Bates in there remonstrating in the way Bates can only do it. There's the kick now from Deegs. Long. Fitzy behind again. Free kick to Masnod, I think, yes. Decision starting to run Maznod's way too now. I think he's turned his uh, his tune, he's changed it. It should be another 15. And it's Murray again putting them into attack. Long kick forward, Polt at the back. Baird run over, runs the ball, goes back and gets it. But there's a Pulls out the back to Yes, there he is again. Your man and ours, number four. There's a kick by number four, but it should be taken out. Yes, it is. He is killing the number four. There's no one picking him up. But, uh, I don't know how long it's going to take. The blokes out there playing the play for the ball long enough now to be able to realise themselves. There's the throw in. Knocked out by Fitz. It's on the wing now. Deeks goes in again. And there's a free kick to Mazda. I think he's evening the numbers up with those free kicks now. Slimmer getting the ball in the back half. That one for watch your decision tomorrow morning. Ball to sport. Drives long, centre field. Up goes Brady. Thompson, quick left foot, kick to nowhere. Carr could be holding the man. Play goes on. Zero again. Shoots at the handball to Luxwood. Luxwood in the trouble. Thompson, quick kick. Holds it behind. St. Mary spill. Run, Smith. Run like only you can. No left foot deck. Oh, could have gone behind. Anyway, Bacon's is in there. Against Bacon for holding his player out there. Might have been a big tough, but a big technical for wet weather football. Nonetheless, St. Mary's have got it. Centre half back. Does not look well when they move the ball quickly, Jim. They certainly do. So we can't blame the umpires because they haven't made half as many mistakes as our players. St. Mary's long, high kick. Comes at the ball, Luxor. Good mark, St. Mary's. Play on, just touched off the boot. Dragged off the ball. Campbell shoots it out. Fitz Patrick's in there, Shepard. Picks it up, could be holding the man. Play goes on, it's a play. Over the net. Middle 
Luxford, hopefully he can lift his game. Luxford, kicks wide, Timmy Smith by himself, spills an easy mark. Smith, suits a handball out. Scrambly play, St Mary's box it in. Ball up, Mazon half of flank. Mazon need badly another goal. Bad mistake there by Tim Smith. Very unlike him, Mr Skills. Plenty of numbers to the ball. Throwing. Fitzgerald, beaten by Egghead. Fitzpatrick loose, picks up cleanly. Nowhere to go, kicks long. Bacon's out of position. Good mark by the St Mary's player there. Mazon just can't get past this wall. Out from goal. Good kick. Paletti misjudges it. Kenrick Tucker picks up. Turns on to the right. Wobbly kick. Carr in front. Could be on the chest. Spills. Roger Murray takes his eyes off the ball. Cops one very high for number four from St. Mary's. Missed by the umpire actually. The free kick goes back to Damien Carr. Damien Carr. Good long kick. No one down there. No one set himself. Rovers are needed. Smith runs past. Loose man again. St. Mary's clear. Grabbed, but not apprehended by Shelby Mullen. Holding the man to Adrian Green, obvious free. Adrian Green gets up. 15 metres to boot. Well done, umpire. My man's not played the ball. He's off. Well, I don't know about that one, Jim. It was a bit rough. Pressed by Steve Bateman, he's run length of the ground to get down there now, and he's giving the boys, because he's an experienced member of this side, a lot of encouragement. It's the old timer Jacks. 40, 40 out from, I think it's beyond him from here, Slim, but he's going to put it right, and there's a lead from the captain ignored. It's pretty congested down there. Take a mighty effort from there. There's a long kick. I tell you what, that is, what a great goal. That's the sort of goal the Nods have been looking for. That should lift them. And Bates and Jack's very happy running back, telling the kids to pick themselves up because they're still well and truly in it. A lot better now, Mazlin. I think St. Mary's will take the Mazlin role, so they give away a few good to school free kicks. You know, like the whole tide's concerned here. As Mazlin will move on to 4 up, 3, 27. Trailing St. Mary's, 7, 4 up, 46. The nick of Jimmy King caught up through the scoreboard. Centre line infringement, we didn't need it. Runner in the square, Darren Hogan. Long kick out of the centre. Testing time for the Nodders. Tapped out by Bateman. Deegan at the back. Overruns the ball. In the back to Paletti. He's not picked up. Scrambly play. Ball up. 25 metres out from St Mary's goal. There's a good one there to go. Here St Mary's. 18 minute mark in the second quarter. Up behind, he's got the run. Being held by the arm and the umpire picks it up. Well done, Wayne Poulter. Ball's going to have to come back to umpire Blue's whistle, so the play on the ball. Ball comes back to Poulter. Two skips into the game, they can drive as before. Hopefully they can carry on with it. Poulter, Murray leads, ignored. Into the man on the mark. It's Patrick Shepard's out. Ball's out of bounds, 20 metres out, and that's not to forward pocket in the centre road end. Another goal here will make a very interesting slip. Another goal here is all they need to lift. Last goal by Jacks was on the spares come into the game now. It's Gerald in the run now. Polter again misses what he should have taken, and they clear very well with a long third kick. It's Marty Pauletti now thinking about it. Guess he got the ball and he handballed the Bear. Bear again, who's come into it again. Long kick. Oh, she could have been in the back. No, play on and they clear again, but that's not bombarding their foot. Bad luck, Deegs. Deegs having a dead set dip. Great play, and Bear again. Puts them forward again. Holtz drops what he could have taken, but still, oh, out the binger. Off the ground, son. That's good play. Wayne Polder now with a chance. Oh, it's on the floor. It's about 30 out from goal, and Nod's trying desperately for that next goal. They clear again. It's going to be a ball up, and geez, I tell you what, the nods have lifted, Slippy. They've definitely lifted the old adrenaline's pump. 
something out there now. Greg Smith got them right back in this game with his own boot this quarter. He's going to run. The kicks all around the ground. You see the boys will carry on with it. It's Gerald. Under the ball, tapped up by St. Mary's. Running loose, fumbles. Smith in there, caught one over the head. Ball carried 20 metres, luckily to St. Mary's off the ground. St. Mary's centre wing. Leads up forward. Bateman's out. Too far. Well, well done, Steve Bateman. On ball players aren't running. St. Mary's are running everywhere. It's long. Good slide through. One behind. As we look in the centre of the ground here, John. Sorry, Jim. We see a few on ball players as they stand here in the platform. They must have learned to pick up their defensive skills as well as their offensive. Green, long, flat punt. Bateman behind. St. Mary's are up. Drop the mark. Ball's come loose. Thompson's there. Ball's socket out of bounds. Throwing. St. Mary's half of the flank. Not as desperate. Fitzgerald gets in well, monstrous thump. Murray, beaten by the line. Throw in centre wing. Throw in centre wing. Ball comes in. Fitzgerald's up. Could have been a free against if play goes on. So Mary's above the pack. On, Greg Smith, good pick up. Could be over the net, handball's on. Murray behind, St. Mary's in front again. Could be a throw up, centre wing. Nods must be first to the ball. Jamari caught out behind many, many times today, and uh, you know, he should know he's played off the ball, but no, he should be in front. Throw up. Fitzgerald contested well. Not by a duck swing. Fitzgerald's a good way to finish the throw up. Kendrick Tucker. High and wobbly. As on lead number two, ball top of the back, picked up by Green. Quick left foot kick under pressure. Timmy Smith. As on they're fighting well, it's going to be a ball up by Thick. No, tapped out by Deegan. St. Mary's again, first of the ball. Tapped out. St. Mary's, numbers, they're running. As on a flat footed. Out comes Bateman. Minds the call as he runs on. Little left foot chip to Timmy Smith. A finger to go well done, Timmy. Timmy drives long. Boundary line, good Benton, Streaming Mullins there. Ball's out of bounds. Half forward flank. Free kick against Streaming Mullins. I don't know what for. The umpire's called in the back. A bit unlucky. Not as desperately trying to search for it. Been now about to clear from the halfback flight. It's a long kick of error. Uncontested. This is just unbelievable. Too many easy marks. They're trying a lot harder forward wise. Back line have just dropped on. That's another long kick to a test team, mate, but it does this. Oh, Bateman and Deegan, they've done that before today. Out to Dave Carr, who gives a little left foot chip past to Suns, who leaves it behind. That's uh, that man again. There, sends it forward again. Oh, well played. Well played. And kicks it to a nest of some various players on the half forward flank. Well held up, too, by Damien Carr. Then that's experience. seem to kick it a lot further than our slip and they're going into attack. Yes, John, as I said, they're kicking skills seem to be a lot better than that, so I'm very surprised. We've got a break here. Ball socket deep forward into St. Mary's attack. Boundary line eludes everybody. Throw in St. Mary's forward pocket. Another testing time here for Nazmo. We're down here for a few first plays. Timmy Chilcott, Andrew Chilcott, keen to get out there. Robert Palomaro, congratulations, Robbie. Back to the game. Anyway. Robert Palmaro winning equal third best of first and top for the first. Good to see Robbie's found his old form. Anyway, back to the match. The ball's cleared out to the half back flank from Asimo. Another stupid free kick by Stuart McMullen. Just jumped straight into his back. Trying to give away 15. Yes, he got it. He really tried for it. The umpire accommodated and gave him 15. Just stupid, inexperienced play here. Ill disciplined by Masimo. Well, he kicked his slip. Oh, could be, could be trouble here. He's left at the top. Long, it's dropped short. Green drops the mark, which should have been taken. Ball spills out. Pack converges. Ball up. Five yards out. St. Mary's goals. I hope that's what don't load us back into those silly freeze they did in the first quarter. I thought they'd shake that off. Might start getting back into the game. Ball's up. Tapped out by Fitzgerald. Luxford eludes him. Boundary long. Throw in. Right forward pocket. St. Mary's attack. Now, 
throws the ball in, there's the ball up, and they go, and it comes out to Marty Pauletti, and kicks it long, to be Smith in the van. But no. Oh, look, it's one against four down there, it's just unbelievable. Kicks it forward, Jackson gets up there and spoils well, and comes out the back to some nerves, this is danger. Great tackle. And the bell saves them. There's the half-time siren with Masnog trailing. 4-3-27 to 7-5-47. My nigga Jimmy King caught up through the scoreboard. 20-point lead to St. Mary's. Very, very handy lead deep this weather by Sinks. The Maslin couldn't pick it up. Well, more important for their turn. St. Mary's at straight to attack. Very stiff. Kick now out to Suds. Suds on the wing. Kicks it back to the forward line. Yes. Maslin's got the first score on the board, one point. Bit unlucky there, Bear. Kicked out by St. Mary's. Maslin looking at a new revitalised side. Let's see, Sean Campbell drives long. McMullen's under the ball. Tate tries to take it in front. He's got the free. McMullen, 20, yeah. 25 out on a, on a slight, slight angle. The angle shouldn't worry him. Should kick it now, Slim. No one in the square. No, take your time, son. Stewie's not renowned for his kicking. For those of you who know Charles Manson, he makes Stewie look like Malcolm Blight. Stewie, it's there. Maslin first score on the board. They needed that one, Slim. I sent a revival, John. I sent... Can you smell it? I can smell it. It was good, wasn't it, Slim? It was good. Just what the doctor ordered. I'm sure Kev said, get out there and kick the first goal. I said, no worries, Kev. There it is. 13 points of difference now, it's 5-4-34 Mazenaiva to 7-5-47 St Mary. That's on that Nick and Jimmy King Collar through the scoreboard. 730 oh. Riversdale Road, Campbell. 760 Slim, but I'm too modest to mention it. 760. I think Bananas on special this week, aren't they Jim? 159 for the small. There you go, you can't beat that. 159 for Bananas, what about Oranges? Jim? Jim talk to me, don't laugh, talk. Jim, get up. Stop rolling around the ground laughing. Anyway, that's not. I'm here, two goals, one behind. Can they go on with it? That's the question, Slim, and I'm sure it'll be answered for us in the next 50 or so minutes. Can you detect, detect any changes made out there? Stephen Bates Tom following number four very closely everywhere he goes. Stephen Thompson out to a half-back flank. Yes. Roger Murray's now. He's playing the Adrian Green's up man, man in defence. The ball's up. Gerald. Kenrick Tucker's over there, loose for them. Good too, tackle, Martin Fitzpatrick. The nods are in there. Damien Carr's pushed off the ball. And being held, free kick Damien Carr. <laughs> Damien Carr. Oh, good the pass. Luxon intercepts, the ball loses him. Kicked off the ground. Damien Carr follows up. Through Simon Grady's legs. Sorry, Martin Fitzpatrick. Free kick to St. Mary's. Oh, umpire, umpire. He's, He's having, having a go. He was having a go. St. Mary's. Looking a bit rattled, long kick. Players near the back of the pack. Bateman pushed off the ball. Deegan. Good his pace. Deegan. Taps it forward. Pick it up, Deegan. Took his eyes off the ball. Ball dribbles out of bounds. Come on, Deegan! Oh, it hasn't stopped riding since the bounce, has it, Slim? Ball throwing, four pockets, and road in. Into attack for St. Mary. Pushed out. Peter 
themselves. I hope he learned from that slim. It's the first time all day he's got in front. But it's a joke from lift here in the ruck. I'm sure all the on-ball players will lift. Fitzgerald, good drop punt. As on players needed. Mark not paid. Greg Smith on the pack. Pushed off the ball. Ball up's the call. Well done, Greg Smith. Lesnar players must start contesting those aerial duels. Too many times though, St Mary's have taken marks unattended. Ball's thrown up. Hooter Fitzgerald sitting under it. Good tap out. Going out. Roger Murray tries to tap on. St Mary's pick up. Mazzler after him. Took his eyes off the ball. Pressured again. Bateman put his eye on it. Tries a double fist up. Ball's free. Bateman's in there. I think Stephen Bateman could be just a sturdy influence they needed down there in fullback. What do you think, Jim? He's on a man that kicked five or six in the first against Mazzler the first time we played them. So he's on a very good football. Bates has got the job ahead of him. Balls up. Fitzgerald wins the knock to no one. St. Mary's fumbled. Taps out. Picked up by Pauletti. Dispossess. He's in after it again. Watch the free kick. Murray's in there too. Dives to the ball. Good play, Roger Murray. Pauletti. Knocks down out of bounds. Free kick. Back. Free kick. Free kick. Marty hasn't realised that yet. Shock horror. That's not now. Should take advantage of this 18 players. St. Mary's Mark Long kick. Minahan. Up oh, in front. His strength is there. He's battling. Ball comes out of St. Mary's. Ball's tossed out again, St. Mary's, followed by Poulter, boundary line will beat everybody. Masnod are certainly pushing up a lot harder than they did in the first half. I think Kingy's really got into the boys at half time and given them a real big serve. Let's just hope they can respond, Jim. Yes. Tapped out, Fitzpatrick, quick kick, tossed aside. Bit lucky there, Slim. Bit, Bit lucky, but very we'll, lucky. We'll take it, Slim, we'll take it. Masnod are reaping rewards now, being first to the ball. Fitzpatrick drives long, Minahan at the back. Great mark in these And as I said at the back, you must be in front, Shane Minahan. The mark to St. Mary's. Doesn't quite know what to do with it. Goes wide. Nice drop punt. Big man fly. Off the pack, St. Mary's. Stephen Thompson chasing. Great tackle. Ball chasing. Well done. Oh, Two man runs luck the ball. Me. Gets up, pressures well. Tipped on again. Martin Ploidy picks up. Well, I'm Martin Ploidy at the base of the pack again. Right here, the umpire about to bounce the ball. We'll throw it up in these conditions, sorry. There, they, there it goes. Oh, number seven there. Roger Murray goes in hard for the ball. Comes out to Sudsy and the umpire's picked out a free kick and Roger Murray is the recipient. Murray playing well, very well these after minutes. Oh, not the game, Rog. Not the game today, son. No, Rog. That's silly, silly football, Go Roger long, Murray. Roger Murray. Go, Go long. long. Yes, Roger. Silly football. Fire throws the ball in now. There it goes. Fitzgerald contesting hard. Oh, Deegan, if you don't mind, but gets up and says thanks very much as he goes back now to kick the TW. Oh, half back point Masnod. Paul Deegan. Looking to drive long. Good long torpedo punt. Back to the pack. Shane Minahan. Good mark. Right with the mark, not paid. He's in there again. Knocked off the ball. In comes Peter Fitzgerald. For another free kick. The bet of sticks today, Peter Fitzgerald. I was about to say I'd like to have known how many he's given away. We can't criticise your enthusiasm, but let's just try, try to bridle it. Ball's long. Brady's in position. Great Taps it, play, Simon Taps it on. Sean short. Campbell, out of the way, son. Polter's on it. He's off it. St Mary's again in possession. That was Beans. Beans, sorry. A bit hard to tell it there in the wet weather. Oh, they all look alike, don't they, out there? Half. Throw up. Masnod. Centre half forward. Uncontested tap out. Luxford sticks out the court. Directs it over towards Poulter now. Luxford again dispossessed. St. Mary's battling on well. Off the ball by Deegan. Tap forward. They're running. Red stop this. Stephen Thompson. Bateman cleans him up a beauty. Ball free. Deegan, let go, son. He's on again. St. Mary's play hasn't got up. Thompson's in there. Out to Paletti. Kick long, son. He does the dribbling kick, but it's out from the safe zones of the half court flank. Polder's in there now. What can you do, son? Polder's on the ball tenaciously, tunneling it forward. Picked up well by Paletti. Playing well in the early stage, but kicks it to no one. St. Mary's. Mr. Mark that should have been taken. They're in there again. Scrambly play. Enthusiasm's out. Tapped out. The umpire lets it go on. St. Mary's. Dispossessed well. Picked up by Carr. Shoes out the handball. Mazel got the runners. Well trapped, St. Mary's. Minahan, ball up. 
I do believe the player Steve Bateman put down was a ones player. I think he played in the first game against Maz, not in the ones. And a very good player for Nodders was chasing him at one stage. And you know the rest of the story. Anyway, back, <laughs> back to the game. Forget the politics. Damien Carr. <laughs> One of Maslin's best players today, Jim, what do you think? Yes, put him very hard. A, a typical Obunga game. But Damien lacks in skills, he definitely makes, makes up in tenacity. Okay. Damien kicks it under the legs of the guy on the mark. Ball goes long, forward pocket. Chewy Mullen could have been penalised. Boundary line might beat them. Who's that out there anyway? Fitzy. Fitzy taps it out. Running car, he's got the goals in sight. Steadies. Wobbly punts downfield, but will yes! take it. Damien Abunga Akar has put it through. Maznod now go on to 6 4 40. Trying by 7 points to St Mary's 7 5 47 on the Nick and Jimmy King Cotter through to a scoreboard. What a lifter, Slim. What a lifter. That's what the sides we're looking for all day. And, and an experienced man like Abunga to do it. But you just bagged for his kicking a minute earlier. And as I said, his tenacity and enthusiasm. He followed up his bad kick right down to the forward line. A great example for you young kids watching at home. Anyway, the umpire now with the ball and a revitalised Maznod waiting to swoop. Anyway, here he comes. He walks and he throws it up in the muddy centre. And up it goes and Fitzy giving them drive now out of the centre. Knocks it down towards centre half forward. And it's in a pack there. Oh, in the back. In the back. Yeah, so Peter free... Fitzgerald again, number seven. Ish. Seven free, free kicks against you, Peter Fitzgerald. He's having a go, Slim. He's having a go. Having a go. The kid's having a go. St. Mary's into a track centre half forward. Mark Belletti pushed off the ball. Simon Gray is half. In comes AJ Gray. Well Slides done, in. Jackson. Beautiful stuff. Tap forward. Thompson, good tackle. Let go of his side. Holding the man. A little bit of against Dan Thompson. Luckily, St. Mary's man had, was dispossessed before he got to him, and he did carry through the tackle. Lazarus has got it. This is the man Bates put down. He's come back from nowhere. Back from the dead. Lines up at all. 45 out, 45 degree angle. It's a wobbly kick play, isn't it? The ball goes up, Bateman from behind, back of the pack to point. Lucky for Maznard. St. Mary's move on to 7 6 48. Maznard trailing. 6 4 48 points. And the Nodders lead. And it's the Bates to put it back into play. Now it's Steve Bateman looking there with the hair flowing. Kicks out long, and that's a beautiful kick. And Wayne Polder takes a great mark in the conditions. These boys are lifting, Slip. There's Polter's long kick, and they're going up the middle. Free kick against Masnod, I think. Yes, it is a free kick. I'm lucky too, because Bear was running off with the ball towards the big sticks. 15 yards against Bear. He'll discipline Greg Smith. Undisciplined as well. Driving forward St. Mary's. Wobbly kick off the side. Stephen Thompson in the box seat. Goes up. The ball hits him in the nose. Try and use your hands, son. Tapped on by the quiet Luxford. St. Mary's, uncontested, in Smith, shoots it out to no one. Deegan's following up well, pushed off the ball, stays on it. Smith, handball, Murray, up after it, son. Wayne Poulter leg, well done Wayne Poulter, this man can lift. Sean Mason will get back into it. He's off straight away, that's the name of the game, son. Sean Campbell at the back. Hands, dropping the ball, he got his foot to it. They must kick long, Sean Campbell. Wet weather out there, son. If someone hasn't told you, the reason you're wet is because it's raining very heavily. Anyway, the St Mary's guy now kicks it from the wing up towards the pocket. And it's Kendrick after the ball, and Kendrick picks it up and handballs straight away. But uh, the pressure, the pressure applied by Maznod has seen it out of bounds. I just think, Slim, I hope and pray that we haven't given them too big a start in the dry because now we're having all the play but finding it very difficult to score. Bateman, long flat torpedo. St Mary's, drop what should have been taken. Play goes on scrambling, Mazlin surging forward. St Mary's again first to the ball. St Mary's pressured by Mazlin, good tackle son, let him go. Play goes on, the umpire must ball it up. Ball it up, centre wing, far side. The umpire grabbing the ball now. Players milling around the pack. Anyway, there's the ball that's in the air now, and Fitzy goes up but misses that one, and it's into another pack, and the up going to have to clear this one up very soon, and I think the first player near the ball next time in front will get the free kick. It's the moment of the game. John first to the ball. It's the umpire's free. Yeah. Ball's up. Fitzgerald, well contested. No one gets a tap out. Smith overruns it. Carr. Struggling kick out. Campbell tries to tap it on. 
picked up well by Bacon. Loses possession, but he's up after it again. Campbell runs on well. Get up. Polk is first to the ball. Handballs it out. Luxford fumbles, but he's still after it. Picks it up well. Kicks it long. Good pass. Timmy Smith should have taken it. Isn't there again? The boundary line might beat them. Traps it in. Could be around the foot. And indeed it is. Timmy Smith leg. Well played, Timmy. Kept that in beautifully. Then he showed his skill then, the way he kept that in. Not many players would have kept that in play there. Played by Pete Luxford. Yeah, oh, undoubtedly. Good long kick. In a hand. Backs into the pack, characteristically. Steve Bacon's in there again. Could be around the neck. First to the ball, gets a free. Oh, they're having a real dip now, aren't they, Slim? Their running ability's coming to show. They've got the Ks in the legs. Go long, go straight, son. Don't go wide. Oh yes, get it down there. It's a lot harder to get out from right down there. There it Drives is. It oh, beautiful kick. Mullins up, off the pack, Polter, goal! <laughs> Wayne Polter. How many times in the past years have we seen him around those goals? He is deadly. He has to bite for a rattlesnake around those goals. Uh, great play, and they're going long down to the forward line now. They're not lucking around long. on the flanks. That's right, Jim. We need long kicks. No handballs, wet weather. Get it down the corridor. But they're running, and Jack's again, Jack's again running down there. The scoreboard now reads St Mary's 7 5 47 to the Notters 7 4 46, but full of run. Yes, I think the fitness might show here, Jim. All those hours Mazma put in the track for the year. St Mary's just starting to slow down a bit. The ball goes up. Fitzgerald, beaten in the ruck, Grady overruns, Luxford doubles back. St Mary's don't want it, doesn't know what to do with it. Ball up, all pressured Peter Luxford. Mads not trained by one point in the all-important third quarter. St Mary's desperately need a goal. Ball goes up, Fitzgerald taps it forward, Luxford just possessed by his own player. St Mary's dive on a shoot out the handball, ball comes back, rebounds. Umpire must ball up. Oh, Slim, watch the game closely with your son because uh, you're giving the tank guard tonight and it's going to be tough now the way the Nodders are fought back. Anyway, the umpire now with the ball at center back throws it into the air and Fitzgerald again who's worked tirelessly, top taps it out. Sudsy in there again, out to Binger who hasn't put a foot wrong all day and gets another free kick. Don't worry about it, Binger, take your kick, you can kick at 40 in these conditions. Rocket Travolta at center back has been so Brady. Another Binger. long kick, straight long. up. Haledi drops what should have been taken. Held without the ball, play goes on nonetheless. St Mary's again at the bottom of the pack, ball up. Oh, I think Slim, I think Slim are really about to run all over the top of them. Their fitness, which was doubtful at the start, which we did mention, I think, is now coming into play. In a hand, misses the ball. Food comes to quiet, Fitzpatrick pulls it up. Is that a Shepard? Oh, Shepard pick up, Rog. Roger Murray, Smith at the pack. He's got the run of the ball, but the boundary line might beat him. Throw in, half forward flank, Maslot surging forward once again. Oh, it's much better this, this quarter, isn't it, Slim? It's a much better quarter to even commentate. It's great to be here. They've got fair income, the nods. Yes. Throw in, half forward flank, Maslot. It's Gerald, taps it, follows on. Polter runs around to the left. Didn't know where to go, straight out of bounds. He's lifted, hasn't he, Slim? Polts. He's a class player, Jim. Wayne yes. Polter, a lot of time for him. They show out, don't they, Slim? Bad thrown by the umpire, not as in there. Fitzpatrick, quick kick son, decides to handball oh. back. Luxford, left foot, testing, did it well, straight to them though. They play on, Carr's got him, slung to the ground. Don't wait for it son, run, Shepard, nods driving forward. Drew McMullen sets himself in front, got the first grab, Poulter. Poulter's around there, Poulter smells a goal, tackle, handball's out. Well done Sean Campbell, could be holding the ball. Sean Campbell's in there again. Comes out to Stewie McMullen who picks up, gets around one, but can't get around the second. Pressure's on, oh, pull up umpire. Well held in Stewie McMullen, well held in, that's good stuff. Looking very dangerous around the goals on Masnod. A sense of urgency now. Wayne Polter looking very, very dangerous around those goals. Umpire walks in, throws the ball up again. It's only 30 out from the Nod goal. So good punch forward too. Campbell's in there, dispossessed St Mary's player, but oh. legged him on the way. A bit unlucky, but the St Mary's player had the ball, first to the ball, and gets the free once again. Oh, umpire, I don't agree with that one. Oh, kick well smothered. smothered. Number, Number four, who has been quiet, but he's just come back into the game. Thompson, holding his tail. The guys know what to do. Stephen Thompson, well tackled. Run, not as good. Oh, Murray, run onto the left foot. Go short. <laughs> Breaks three of Stephen Bacon's ribs with that tenacious left foot step pass. That one was a peach. Bacon's doesn't quite know who he's looking for. 
Mason after the ball. St Mary's in control, picks up good play. Good play, son. Good play. Stephen Thompson, double fist. And again, could be played the mark. Umpire says no, it was touched by St Mary's. Play goes on, could be in the back. Bad free finger. Don't argue, young man. Yes, he's going to reverse it, I think. I think he will reverse the decision. That was a silly thing to do, no. Oh, no. Right down, he said, right down. Wasn't much in that one, Jim. St Mary's now looking for a goal. Long kick. Thompson takes the mark. And 15 metres to boot. Thank you very much. I think it's St Mary's turn now to be undisciplined, don't you, Jim? Run, Stephen, run, son. Kick it wide. Wobbly low oh. trajectory. Oh, Straight to say what he was trying there. Bad disposal, son. I thump it back. Bateman. Good mark, Stevie Bateman. The old forward. He's lifted the Lays it off to the running green, the combination. Luxford. Punched well away from St. Mary's out of bounds centre wing. Steve Bateman's definitely lifted them since he's come on. He's done a great job. Down there at full back. He's no newcomer at full back position, Jim. Oh no, been there a long time. Free kick to St. Mary's. No. Free kick slim. To... Slim, slim. Free kick to Simon Gray. I couldn't really see that one, Jim. He plays on a man. It's obvious, slim. It was there. Great mark. Great mark in those conditions. The disposal is no good. We've got no one in the centre half four position has Mazanod. We're going to have to fill in that gap if they want to drive it down through there. Would it be worth In front, the Fitzgerald. Of, picked up by Carr bates. again. Long kick. Been a hand. Bustling. Punches on. Mazanod need Rovers. Polter's out. Polter, possession. Runs around on the left foot. Tries a left foot step pass. Carr, can he do it again? Carr, 20 out. That's the car Slim was talking about earlier, as he puts it out of bounds next to the point post. That's a Damien Carr with Rowan's and Owen Love. And None Cherish. Nonetheless, though, so Damien Carr, best man of field for Mazenod. Oh, Slim, that's a big comment now. They've got a lot of goers out there. I think it's a tough job. I'm glad it's yours. Anyway, there's the ball in, and it's in the forward line, right next to the Mazenod goal, out the front. Oh, the umpire wouldn't pay her holding the ball. It looked from here to be there, Slim. What do you think? Oh, well, he had no, no chance to get rid of it there, Jim. Good Slim. tackle, but the rule states a player must have adequate time and opportunity to get rid of the ball. Mm -hmm. Throw in, 20 metres out for Mazenot goals. Up goes McMullen, misses the punch out. Campbell's in there, overruns it. St Mary's got position again, shoot it out. Smith lurking, got it, left foot, snaps it in. In front, St Mary's. Miss the mark, oh. but get the free for two high attack. Mazenot four players must get in front. Oh, they're trying hard, Slim. This next point seems very difficult to score. Henrik Tucker runs under the ball. Who should be there but Damien Carr? Damien Carr, dispossessed. Paddling along is... Paletti. Paletti slips. Oh, St. Mary's surging forward. They fumble too. Very trying conditions out there. Shot out. Paletti's got a second go. Picks up. Deegan, well done. Puts his body and taps forward. We're going nowhere in a hurry. It's a ball out there at the moment. Oh, it's like a piece of slope, Slim. A piece of soap. Soap or slope, Jim? S soap, Slim. Oh, it's OK then. <laughs> Up by with the ball now. Up, oh, between wing and half forward for St Mary's. Throws the ball up in the air and up they go. Fitzgerald working tirelessly, but that one's being punched out. Out of bounds by the St Mary's Ruckman. I think St Mary's have just settled now. They, they were jumped early in this quarter by Maslin, but they're just starting to find their feet again, and this next goal will be extremely important. Fitzgerald behind again, gets in front. Could be a free kick to him. No. Play goes on. Smith. Out to Deegan. Who hasn't played very well since coming on as well. Polter. Out to the danger man, Polter. Out to the left foot. He oh, hasn't the right yes. Sees McMullen. Short kick. Smith, sorry. Pushed off the ball. As the lead players. Kenrick Tucker. Leg. Play goes on. Stuart McMullen on the left. Has a shot at Let's go! Ronaldo is in the front! Stuart McMullen. That's the lift that we've been looking for. The young kid from Kanangatang. Don't celebrate yet, boys. They have a lot of hard work to do yet. But the, that's the first time today Maslin have hit the lead on that Jimmy and Nick King Cotter scoreboard. Maslin, eight goals, four, 52, leading St Mary's, seven goals, five, 47. Oh, it's a different ball game now, so they've stopped. they stopped. St Mary's have stopped. As we said earlier, we told you, Jimmy told you, Maslin's fitness would be a major contributing factor in this game's end result. They've got the K's in the legs, Slim, the K's in the legs. Back to the middle. Revitalised Peter Fitzgerald, sets himself, the ball's thrown up, Fitzgerald jumps, other tap out, non-event, St Mary's come through, well pressured Mazenod. Oh umpire, 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 please, please, please be consistent, that's all we're asking. Anyway, St Mary's out of the middle, and there it is, it's a, that's a long kick in the conditions. Oh, out the back, this looks dangerous, oh, this looks very dangerous. 
It's a good shot. Off line for one behind. But they ran it out of the middle well then, Slim. They were at the back of the pack waiting. That's good. Need blows from the back of the pack in these wet days. Too many men going up. Let off the hook. And there's two men down there now in the goal square. Bates and Deeds. You can't see Deeds at the moment, but he's there. He's been there all day. And he's having a real decent dip for the side. And Stephen Bateman. No, no Deegan if you can. Bateman not happy. Don't worry, Bates. It doesn't go down the steps. Deegan, beautiful kick. Paletti waits for it. Murray through. On to the left. Shrugs them off. Kick to the centre. Anyone there? Great Gamble push. in front. Knocked off the ball. But free kick. Damien Carr's infringed. Free kick St. Mary's in the centre. Short kick to Greg Smith. Pick it up, son. You're under pressure. Bounced in favour him. Didn't want it, Greg Smith. Ready for Cheryl. Straight through, son. Side steps. Dispossessed. Picks it up. Well, Shepard, Stephen Bateman. Onto the left. Out wide, Sean Campbell. Has lifted. Has lifted. Slim this fella. This fella's quarter, lifted. Quarter best player so far, Sean Campbell. Who's he looking for there? Peter Luxa picks up well. Kick long, Luxa. Loves to run. This is no exception. Bounces the ball. Didn't want to, but still bounced it. Went a bit too far then, Pete Lux, was cleared by St. Mary's. Brady Fitzgerald up. Martin Pletty back of the pack. Thompson, too late. Bingo gets around in front. Punched away by Bateman. Batesy, go the boundary, son, as he does. The race is on. Boundary line just might beat them. Beautiful play by Bateman then for a bloke of his age in these conditions to still be running and running hard is just amazing. Oh, in St. Mary's half court flank. Colmats contest. The Battle of the Midgets. Taken away by St. Mary's. Kicks long. Jackson's got the box seat. Tells Marty to go through. Marty after it. Uh, green over. In the back to Marty Paletti. Dispossessed. Bateman's there to help. Ah, uh, Bateman again. A la Diago Maradona off the ground. Greg Smith. Must have sore boots, this boy. Picked up a lot of kicks. In the man on the mark. A bit too long, Greg. Comes out. Bateman there again. Falls on the ball. Didn't dive. St. Mary's busting loose. Well tackled Marty Blitty. Has on the players to the ball. Long kick by St. Mary's, but one behind. Awesome. Mary's have fought back here, Slim. They've done most of the attacking in the last few minutes, and I, you know, they're really not going to keep this one up without a fight. They haven't been able to capitalize, mainly due to the pressure that Mazda backline are applying. Through the efforts of Martin Blitty, Adrian Green, and Steve Bateman. Very working very well down there in the face. Deegan to kick out. Hurry leading. Right half foot flank ignores. Goes a long talk. Sudsy, up. Off his jewels, chest. Hurry. Well tackled. Up again. Turn around, son. Get into it. St. Mary's. His jewel there. Got another three. No. Play goes on. Thompson the bottom of the pack. Well done, son. Our ball up has been called. It's about 35 metres out from the uh, St. Mary's goal. The goals are hard to come by Slim, and it's going to be a slog from here to the end. There's the ball up now. Fitzy still in the ruck. Tirelessly loses that one. And here he is, the man of the moment. Pulp. Bearing down as well to help. So they're not as now running, running there to support their teammates, which they weren't doing earlier. They're manning up now in the back line, Maslow, because they weren't doing the first half. Thompson pushed off the ball. Deegan, here comes Bateman. Misses the ball completely. Deegan doesn't know what to do. Do you want it, son? No, he doesn't. The ball comes out. Ball up, ball down. And Jaxie sprints into the goal square to mine that square because there's a good chance in these conditions that it could bounce through. So that's experience coming through there, Slim. Bounce to the ball, 35 out from St. Mary's, testing time for the Nutters. Fitzgerald up, Tucker out, Mumble, quick kick. One behind. St. Mary's unable to capitalise here, lucky for Mazinot. 7 8 50, 8 4 52. The Nutters by two points. Jackson to kick in this time, should go long, should go long. So let's go straight down the centre. Man in front, St. Mary's again. Shoots out the handball, got the numbers, quick kick, pressure by Mazda, Sean. Sean Campbell, come alive. You're behind Greg Smith, get in front. On to the left, wobbly Doug Wade punt. Martin Fitzpatrick, like it was an ice cream, son. He's in there again, though. Play goes on, eventually ball up. Centre half forward, St. Mary's tacking in. Anyway, the umpire now with the ball. Centre half forward for St. Mary's, as, as Slimbo said. There's the throw up and up they go again and Fitzy knocks it down but it's into a nest of St Mary's players. He well, doesn't want it. And Sudsy clears it beautifully and there, there's Dame Carr who has lifted. Definitely he's run onto that left foot which he's not renowned for. 
Anyway, kicks it out wide and Beans, who's a left footer, picks the ball up. He could do anything from there. It's a beautiful kick. Big Mullen! And that's beautiful play. Beautiful play, Mazdog. Well run. They run the ball in the condition perfectly. And Stewie McMullen now, 30 out from goal, which will test him because he's not a great kick. In, you know, and the conditions are far from great. You see what happens when the Niners move it quickly. Campbell, as he's done so for the whole game, into that pack, gets it, drives it out to Carr, another good player for the game. Kicked it long. Bacon shoots his body well. Let's hope McMullen can cap it off. This is a big kick, Slim, this one. Stewie, not renowned for his kicking. It's oh my god, it's there. They're eight points up at three quarter time, the Nodders, as the crowd comes to life. As an odd on the Jimmy and Nick King Connor fruiterous scoreboard. As not go to nine goals for 58. To a dilapidated St. Mary's 7 4 50. Could this be 7 8 50 slim? Sorry, 7 8 50. John, Jim. Could this that be the goal they wanted? A handy eight point lead. They've got the run on. It'll be very hard for St. Mary's to come back from here. What do you reckon, Jim? Oh, yes, the Nodders came out after half time and they were fair income. They had a dip, and that's great to see. But uh, the last quarter is going to be a thriller, Slim, and we're going to bring it to them live. Who do you think's brought the Nodders back into this game, Jim? Oh, Sean Campbell's been burrowing into the packs, getting it out. Damien Carr, with his experience, has played very, very well. And Steve Bateman into the back line has really lifted the boys, and he's a great leader, Steve Bateman, and uh, he's lifted them all. It's just Wayne, on board players such as Wayne Polk and Greg Smith, the link men, they were there that quarter. They were there for the revival. Greg Smith a little bit quiet at this quarter compared to the second, but he was still there nonetheless, right. picking up right. six or seven disposals. Now we're ready and waiting for the start of this final quarter. Uh, Masnod leading. The scoreboard was changed to three quarter time. It's 9 4 58 Masnod to 7 9 51 St Mary's. And now we're ready for the start of this last quarter of the grand final for 88. And these boys. There's the sign. Here we go. The last quarter, the last 30 minutes of football for 88 for these boys. There's the ball in the air. Fitzy goes up hard. And wins it out to Bear. Those two are telling. And it's into the Masnod centre half forward where they clear off. Oh, brilliant smother by Bear to Pultz. Oh, Pultz into the forward line. Well spoiled by Stewie McMullen. Sean Campbell dives on it, punches it between his legs. But there'll be a ball up 20 metres out from the Masnod goal. That was great play. I think Masnod's fitness could be telling here, Jim, because they've definitely got the K's in the legs. Oh, well, we've been told through the year they have too. Anyway, there's the ball in there. Stewie McMullen, a great knockout. That's Marty Fitzpatrick still running like it was the first quarter, and he's been pushed out of bounds. This rain's got a lot heavier, which will help, Mazda, because that seven-point lead is growing in significance as the rain gets heavier. Anyway, the ball comes in now. A goal here would just about do it, I think, even though there's a long time to go. It's into the pocket, and that's a free kick against Stewie McMullen. It wasn't for anything silly. It was very determined stuff, and the free kick went to St Mary's. St Mary's to clear, left half forward, left forward pocket for Mazda. No one to kick to. Goes wide. Luxor pushes his player out. Silly free kick, but Luxor puts it caught behind. St. Mary's, ball up thrown back on the full. Nonetheless, no 15 given. St. Mary's, left half back flank. Goes the talk. It's a wobbly one. Top of the side. Damien Carr's got his eyes on it. He's off. The handball. Timmy Smith slips. Straightens up. 40 out. Touched over. St. Mary's players ball each other then. I was about to put the glasses down when Timmy straightened up, but just slipped the last second of the last balance. Just shows how hard it is to kick the ball, doesn't it, when a bloke of his talent does that sort of thing with it. Throw in, right foot pocket, Mazinov. Keen for a goal. Minahan pushes his player in the back end, penalised. Must get in front, Nods. Oh, doing all the attacking now, and St Mary's defending doggedly. There's the long kick, that is a good kick in these conditions. So, Fitzgerald again battles hard. Out to Sudsy, Sudsy long kick forward, and Shane Minahan. Oh, not paid, says the umpire. That's almost unbelievable. Anyway, it comes out and Sudsy gets the ball again now and kicks it back whence it came. And there it goes up in the air, but it's punched away by the St Mary's man out towards the boundary line. The bloke doesn't commit himself properly. Oh, umpire, no, now come on, get fair dinkle. That's not kicking in danger, but the free kick will go to them anyway. Free kick, left half, back flank to St Mary's. Messer looking very determined. No one to kick to. Moves up the field, ignored. Decides a long, long, good long drop punt. Back of the pack's leaders. Off hands. Carr in again. 
Francis Assess, Luxford, Paletti, Campbell, bottom of the pack. Out comes St. Mary's, good play. Straight to Stephen Thompson. No one talking to him. Go wide. Good kick to Luxford. Stand it up, son. But Luxford picked up five kicks in these first few minutes. He's come alive at the right end of the game. Luxford. Oh, over the hand's head. Punched on. Car in there. Shoots out the hand by Luxford once again. Testing on the left foot. Little kick. Dropped. Well pumped over by Wayne Fox. Gee, Sudgy's lifted. Uh, when I say Sudgy, I mean Luxford. He has lifted and given up a lot of drive and getting a lot of the ball. The umpire throws it in now. About 40 out from Mazda goal. It's one and a half kicks away. There's the Smith, red. quick kick. Looks dangerous. Oh, good play, St. Mary's. Dispossessed by McMullen. Holders in there. St. Mary's pick up. Well tackled. Two St. Mary's plays on their own. Shoot out a good handball. Quick kick, son. So no one. Here's Adrian Green. Oh, Adrian Green drops. Picked up by Damien Carr again. Quick kick across the ground to Stephen Baker. It's a good bounce. Pick it up quickly, son. I predict a sidestep here. No, run straight on. Touches at once. Shocking kick. Oh, it's difficult out there, Slim. There's 36 blokes having a red hot go. Oh, up the one well hand. done. Well done, Here's fellas. Here's the other one, son. Jax. Kicking in danger. Big ticky touch. He's going to hold back, but anyway. Was out. Number four, noticeably quieter, has a heavily strapped right thigh. Bateman pushed out and gets a free kick. He's played a great game. We cannot speak highly enough of this fella. And he'll, he'll tell us, I'm sure, but he has burnt. Contesting that full back position with Andrew Wilkes. I believe Stephen Bateman had a strong training on the Thursday night. This pit worm me out from the spot. There's anyway, a, in a hand. Strong chest mark. Still it down, son. He will. Put your experience in spring. Now you can rely on the 25 in a tight crisis. He likes to talk. Long wobbly punt. Holders in front. In the back end. Oh, so this, this man has played a great game all day. Kicked the first two, I think, and he's beaten her all day around goal. The distance in these conditions will press him, but uh, a goal here would uh, make it very, very hard for St Mary's. And I think you can start popping the corks now if you're going for the black, white, and blue. I think, I think you, the distance won't worry you, John. Seems to find extra 10 or 15 yards around goal. Wayne Long kick. It's there. Has not go to 13 points up. Very hard for St. Mary's to take this back now. The boys are full of running, full of confidence. Playing to their true ability. Started a bit wobbly on with the game. The uh, niggling tactics of St. Mary's. The boys have found their feet, slowly moved up through the gears, and they're really in fourth gear now, moving towards this Premiership Cup. Oh, it'll be a sweet win too, because they've worked hard for it, which they haven't had to do most of the year. They've normally just won it quite easily, but St Mary's aren't to be disgraced. I mean, you know, they've been out there and they've really tested Mazdod. Mazdod's not shut the gate yet, Jim. It's oh, good, good yes, no, shut the gate now, son. Shut the gate. It's funny game football. Oh, the gates are open. Fitzgerald, tap out. Murray, running, slips. Smith's in there. Yes. In a hand, knocks St Mary's off the ball. Kenrick Tucker, too slow, Kenrick. St. Mary's battling well, still first to the ball and get the free. That's fair enough too, Slimmett was there. Still it's hard to see them kicking three goals, the, the required amount to get up and score a victory from this position. Right, Maslin wouldn't want to stop, John. Oh no, oh, oh no. St. Mary's player on his own, good mark. Good mark. Left on the tender there by Stephen Thompson. Look at Sean Campbell there running after him, that's good play. He's very determined, he's a long kick. Right into the forward line. We don't want a goal here, Nods. And Deegan pushes it through. He's played very well too since coming on the ground. And Paul he clicked Deegan. the post down there too, Jim. I think young Paul might be in trouble. Oh, well, his hamstring's fine. That's, a, that's the main thing. That's the big worry. Oh, he's oh. riding around there like an avaconda. Oh. It's Patrick, elusive, steady. Players are running everywhere. He's the captain. A long Jim kick. Oh, this has gone Through to... the legs, Smith, oh. the opportunist. Well Beautiful done. Timmy Smith. Timmy, Timmy Smith. Smith from nowhere. So the big 2 5 here you can rely on. Greg oh, Smith's no. followed up well. No, uh, Greg Smith, well, that was a silly decision. I mean, by Greg, the umpire was right, but Greg there went for the man instead of the ball. He should have got under him. Steady it down, Nod. So, Mary, nothing to go for. Kicks up in the air, hopeful. Oh, oh. downfield, I think, Louis. What? Downfield. What's he done here? What is he doing? Oh, we're, we're, confu we're as confused as you are here, fellas. We're as confused as the players up here. Oh, this, one, this one's strange. There's a few people talking. Number four next to the umpire chatting away. Shane Minahan there. I don't know what's going on up here. St. Mary's 
Captain Coach putting forward suggestions. They're asking for a count. Oh no, it's a sensation. Thank you, sir. Is it through the camera on this could be? That's it. Oh, yeah. That's it. It's trouble. There is trouble for the Notters. It's just a sensation. They're asking for a count. The contentious issue is whether Paul Deegan went off when he was injured. We believe he did. The umpires don't quite know. This is unbelievable, Slim. This, is, this, this isn't football, Slim. Football's a loser here, Slim. This is just incredible. I haven't seen I've been commentating for years and years. And the advice being offered, it doesn't look good for the nod. We'll wait and see. The goal umpire coming over. Oh, this is emotional stuff, this. This is unbelievable. The matter of contention is whether Paul Deegan, when he got injured when he ran for the post, did go off or not. Now, what I can see is the man out there in the red tracksuit, the reserve umpire, is saying that he didn't go off. And we Mazin have sent a man off and Deegan stayed on the ground. So that means, of course, Mazin had 19 men on the ground. There's 19 out there in the camp. That means we forfeit the game. We lose our score. We lose our score, which would be suit mean forfeit the game. Pretty hard to make up seven day. goals, ten. There's nine in there. There's nine in there. Yeah. Yeah. Kitty knows. What are you arguing going on? No? It looks good for the Notters. I don't think anyone quite knows what's going no, on. Okay. 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 Special comments here by Peter Green. He's just walked into the commentary box. Welcome aboard, Peter. Hey! Make an honest score, right? It was just a call to the time. Just a call to the timekeeper's box to hold the score, to keep a check of the score. This is our oh, slim, slim, slim. Sensation is Help me out, out, slim. I've lost for words, I'm, slim. I'm reaching for the rule book, Jim. Oh, slim, be in me, in me. I don't quite know what's going on. It looks like Maslow could hold his score. Huh? The yelling and cheering going on. Oh, slim, this is just incredible. I'm taking over the score in case I do get to it. I'm taking over the score, as Peter Green just pointed out. Special comments. Just in case St. Mary's, of course, if Maslow proved that 19 men on the ground, St. Mary's are offered the option whether to make Maslow lose all their score or not. Now, we trust the St. Mary's, very technical, technical point of course, not a very good way to buy the Premiership Cup. Here's a question, the integrity of St. Mary's. Very technical point. of Maslow. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm really lost. am lost. I am, I'm flabbergasted. That's probably the best word, I think, for the minute slim. My guess is the story, score remains the same, Jim. Yeah, there's a cry. Let's play footy. Let's get back to the game. All right, the score remains the same. Oh, there's some fired up boys out there now, Slim. This will be great viewing now. Fitzgerald up. Tap goes nowhere. Fitzgerald double through. Minahan. Campbell in there once again. Like, quick kick out by St. Oh, here we go. Fitzy. Fitzy throwing punches there. He's fired up. Come on, son. Multiply the ball. Bates is found behind, but that's a shocking Well, just set the by Stephen Thompson the mark. Bateman over runs the ball. And Colvin taps it out of bounds for throwing. Right half foot flank for St. Mary's. And we're seven minutes into the last quarter here. It's going to be a long game. I'll tell you what, the first game's going to finish late. Oh, they'll, they'll need lights here Follow later on. As well, let's go. Follows it up. Gets pushed aside. Play goes on. Scrambly play. St. Mary's a quick kick. Bloody underneath it. In front. Well done, son. This traffic picks up. Forty picked up. Just possessed. Mazzin on the ball and reap the rewards of being first to the ball once again. Simon Grady. Very good play down there today, Simon, hasn't he, Jim? Oh, yes. Oh, oh shocking kick. He's done so Every right. time you jinx them, hey, you say they're playing well and they, you do. they let you down. I don't. Anyway, Damien Carr couldn't kick in the third quarter, he kicked the goal. Back anyway, to the back game. to the game. Play goes on. Shot out handball by St. Mary's. Left half board plank. Testing time for the nods. Concentration levels must be up again. Comes out. St. Mary's are running loose. Throw by Green. Stallwood. Smith slides in on the knees. All battle. Greg Smith throwing. Left half board plank. St. Mary's. Oh, 
What do you think, Jim? Has like a hold on? Oh yes, from here I think they will. It's just the contentious issue of what happened before that we're worried about. Anyway, there it is, into the half-back line. It's half four line for St Mary's. The upper is called for a bounce. Anyway, you'll be able to read about the Sunday press tomorrow morning. Anyway, there's the upper line. Throws it up in the air. Fitzy working hard again. He's been there all day. Up Polder, another one. That's at the bear. That sums up Masnod's revival there. It's under the ground. Sudsy flicks it out. St Mary's Bear dives in again. Oh, there's 36 tied desperate boys out there giving it their all for their respective clubs. And there it is out to the wing. Green can hardly bend down and no. get the ball. In a hand. Through. Through one. Through two. Keep going, son. Soon out of bounds. Great play, Binahan. He's still in there having it, helping the boys out. He's a great leader. Very welcomed out at the club this year and really helped the boys. What about those guys that missed out today? Hey, Jim, the, the Andrew Wilkes, the Marty Rutherfords, the Chris Walkers. Not now, Slim. It's in our forward line and it's anybody's game still. And there it is. And it's... Oh, no, the umpire's played in the back. Fair it's enough. St. Mary's first to the ball. Polder rode him into the ground. Free kick right half-forward flank for Mazenov. It is. Wobbly and low trajectory, but gets there. St. Mary's in front, dispossessed, sliding in. St. Mary's again, first to the ball, ball ups the ball. The umpire now with the ball right on centre wing in front of the Lockwood side. There's the throw up in the air. And up goes Fitzgerald again, working hard. Loses that one, but St Mary's going in. But there's Masnock players all around him. The umpire letting it go, which is the way to go in this sort of game. That's a quick kick out. Polar tries to pick it up. It's wet weather out there, son. Both hands. St Mary's, game possession. Minahan in there. In the bottom of the pack, ball has to be the ball. Ball battled again, Shane Minahan. Oh, he's holding it in that forward line, Slim, and making it a lot easier for the running players to come past. OK, ball up centre half forward, Masnock. Looking to drive forward. Good punch out. Holds on to the left. It's possessed. Good smother by Stephen Thompson. In there trying hard. Ball up again. Ah, oh, slim, slim. We just can't comment on these 36 guys' courage, can we? Enough. Football's a winner, Jim. Ball's up. In a hand up. No one misses it. The ball hits a deck. They're on it again. Stacks on the bills. Oh. Desperate stuff, desperate stuff. This is you've come a long way to see stuff like this. This is brilliant stuff. Two goals are difference, it's 10 4 64. That's what we think it is for 7 10 52. That's what we hope it is. Minahan drives forward, St. Mary sharking well, kick wide. Only Pulitti picks up, thinks about it and kicks. Long kick, Minahan up again, Campbell the bottom of the pack. Just possess, put in the back, no play goes on, get it out. Smith doesn't know what to do, looks dangerous, no. Campbell didn't reach his point. Patrick over the back, first to the ball, St. Mary's, and I say it again, free kick, first to the ball. Oh, they've made a loose man out here on half back link. Murray chasing very hard, but oh, that's a beautiful kick. Bateman doubles back well. Over the ball, Stephen. Man, I might see him, hasn't had any numbers to the ball. Right pocket, screws oh, it back, oh, one behind, good try. Would have brought the crowd to their feet, that one, so that was a great effort by that kick. Nothing like a quick, long kick to make a quick break, hey, John? Oh yes, oh, it catches the back line out every time. The long kick in these conditions is the only way to go as far as we're concerned. It's like a Magic Johnson fast track that was. Torpedo I suggest, yes. The strap wrists firmly around the ball. Let's go the long one wide. Campbell's out. Punches back to the pack to need Green off the ground. Well done son. Look for the boundary. Time. Time's on our side. Throw in seven wing. Gerald to contest from the back. Kenrick Tucker out to the side. Sudsy bends down well. Can't hardly pick it up. It's like a pack of soap. Out to Marty Pilletti. Has Joel pick it up also. Still after it, son. Throwing off the ball. Mazzle in there. Ball up. Center half back. Mazzle up. <laughs> now. Waiting for the ball to be returned, which it is. Now throws it up. At center half forward or thereabouts for St. Mary's. There it is in the air. Egghead goes up and Fitzy beats him again. Goes out to uh, Sean Campbell. That is all oh, they're getting hard to pick up. Tapple, Stephen Bacon, dispossessed. Mazel got numbers to the ball. Over the next, Stephen Thompson was it? Yes, first to the ball. He got the three. Well done, son. Battled hard all day. Thompson dropped punt. Looking for Minahan. Good kick the position. Minahan up. Spoils well. Car. This is the run of the ball. Minahan on. Deluxe. Sidesteps. Dispossessed. After it again. Heads down. Handball to Turner is back on the ground. A long lap sends off. Campbell's under it. Stand your ground. Minahan off the ground, yes. Oh, 
Roger Murray, pick it up, son. Loose his footing. Look at the packet so bad there. Car. Oh, Damien, Damien Booger Car. What a game he's played. He's in there from the start. He's just he's shown his experience. And really, he's done the attacking thing. All and all. He's done the hard things. And on the side of the ring. Get a hand up, Pete, this time. That's a bummer to Pat. He's doing what to do. He's struggling hard. Ball up, hard foot play. Left hard foot play. Oh, well, the players look tired, don't they slip? They look really, really tired. As I've got the K's on the leg, he pulls up, lucky to me. No one can pick it up, ball up, up wire. He does so. They're willing in there, Slim. They're really, the bear had to haul again. How many times has that happened today, Slim? He's quite trying to pick it up afterwards as well. Oh, we won't argue that one. Anyway, there's the ball up again. Oh. He just said to my luck, out of bounds. That could be a free kick for Suds, I think. I think that could... No, I'm just warning them. Just no, warning them. He's having a word. He's having a word. He's playing the ball, son. Ends up all. Yeah. Over the top. That'll suit... Oh, that's all right. Oh, oh, in the back of the head. Gets up. Shoots out the flick marks. Picked up by St. Mary. Straight to Mark. He's going to be off and away. Side steps. Goes not know what to do. Pebbles at the grand turn. Grand turn over on to ball. He's on it. Oh, he's going to mess this one, Nods. Ball up, I think. Yeah, he's got the ball. Yeah, he's got the ball. 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 No, the ball come loose, that's why let it go. Fitzgerald, it's time to steady. Kicks long, back of the pack. Well done, Stuart Mullen. Break against Stu. Arms are interlocked, I don't know how he picked that one, but anyway. Well, into the ground's got a uh, big bearing on who gets it through. Oh, well, well Stu, with his strength, renowned for that sort of thing, that hustle and muscle. He's not, not, you know, he's a big fella down there, and he gives him a bit of stick. Lunch fit. Rips into that chest of his. Bounces back. Oh. 20 man drop puck straight to them. Yes, a mark, well tackled. Play goes on, St. Mary's. Ah, oh, the car again. Ball comes loose. They're fighting in there tenaciously. Ball it up. Well done, Damien Carr. I'll tell you what, he hasn't given up that kid today, has he? Oh, he's no kid, Slim. He's no kid at all. He's had a real fair to come dig. Oh, yes, undoubtedly. There's the ball up now. It's centre half forward. Stewie McMullen up there, pushing it out. And it's into a pack and Minahan gets it out again to Sean Campbell. That's quite, you know, that's been the call of the day, most, mostly. Luxford turn around, pick it up, son, and run, Luxford. Onto the right, that's a better kick. Stephen Bacon's in the box seat. Tapped over well. Bacon's is after it again. Timmy Smith landing support. Tap Mary's got the numbers. Here comes Stephen Thompson. Oh, well oh. done, Tomo. Great oh, effort. He committed himself. Made the black. Oh, oh and a great tackle. tackle. In there is whoever, the big boy. Oh, they're hard to pick out now, Slim, aren't they? Gerald, air balls it out, oh, chopping the ball, a bit hard done by the umpire, but nonetheless, we won't complain, St Mary's half back flank, I really don't know what to do with it, long kick, knots in front, over the back of the pack, numbers are needed, Maslow are there, Turner, handballs over to Fitzpatrick, on the left, lovely kick, kick. Oh, oh, Murray, through the elbows, keep your elbows together, son. Well Fitz done, though, Roger Murray. And Fitzy follows it up, and we're 16 minutes into the last quarter. Keep it attacking, Fitzy! 16 minutes into the last quarter as it trickles out of bounds. There's approximately 8 minutes 43 seconds. We know how much you hate that. We're telling you how long to go. That's not. Playing a bit defensive now. I'd like to see it just back. It looks so much better when I go away. Straight up the corridor. St. Mary's, quick and down, in front. Well, well, well by Oh, Brady. umpire, come on. A little bit on. unlucky, but that's what happens when you get in front. St. Mary's now looking to drive it. Open forward line, moving quickly, does so. Sean Campbell contests, back of the pack, through his hands. Bateman's there. St. Mary's puts the ball. Great tackle. Well tackled, whoever. Bateman's there, over the boundary, throw in. Experience is Stephen Bateman. He lifted, I've told you, I've said it numerous times, he has lifted that back line, Steve Bateman. Played a great game. He's done off a bit shakily, but he's certainly got the kids together. There's... Oh, over the neck. But he's away and off his studs, on, on the left. Oh, come on, fellas. Okay, the Sudsy slipped off the left boot, out of bounds on the full freak. St. So Mary's right half board flank. Testing time for the Nodders. Undoubtedly, undoubtedly slipped. Long raking left foot, who's there? The big man fly. Couldn't quite hold of St. Mary's. The back, back conversion, stacks on the mills. All up, 20 yards down to St. Mary's, 45 degree angle. Fly now, waiting for the old timer Steve Bateman to get up. He's struggling, he's really tired. There's the ball in the air, up they go, and Fitzy again. And Damien Carr's in there again for a change on the bottom of another pack. Unbelievable, he's been. Anyway, the umpire takes it back, a scrambling stuff out there. 
but it's what grand finals are made of. And there he is again in there, punching it towards the boundary line. Sean Campbell again out towards Grant Turner, who goes the ball and it's on the half pack flank. And it looks like another pack developing. Yes, it is. And it's our ball up. The nods have moved it closer towards the boundary line now. It's about 35 out on the boundary. Time to be running out for St. Mary's, Jim. Oh, we'd be 17 and a half through, Slim.